Uh, we're gonna continue. We are currently in a. T <laughs> Man, I I want a human suit to wear. Um, there we are in the goblin place, goblin camp, killing some goblins. Hello, Jamie. Hello, little man. Hello, Mello. Welcome. We have managed to slay the drow, which is what we did at the end of the last stream. Which is why we were in this room. There she is. Don't worry that she doesn't have any clothes. It's because we took her armor because it was, you know, worth money. And now we are going to... Do something. We gotta try and kill this room. Which this room has the hobgoblin leader, Dror Ragslin. And that is kind of scary. And I'm pretty sure we're all aggro to them right now. Which is also kind of scary because I wanted to try and get position before we attack them. So... I wonder, are we aggroed with... Hold on. Can we rest in here? I wouldn't... I wouldn't seem like we would be able to, right? Let's take a short rest then. Let's take a short rest. And then, let's separate our Roge. Hide with the Roge. And I want to see if this entire area is aggroed or if it's just the room next door. Well, we don't have the talk command. It's defaulting to kill, so I'm going to say... I think we're aggro to the entire camp now because they blew that war drum. That is... Not good. That is not good at all. Hello? Okay, okay. Alright, we gotta think about this. Let's enter... Let's enter turn-based mode. Just to see what's going on here. So, we've got... What appears to be some sort of goblin caster here. This dude, I know they can cast spells, because they did already, but they also have a warhammer. So they're probably going to be up in my face. This is just a fighter, looks like. Human fighter, human sacrifice. Let's see, up here we've got a cleric, I think? Usually the clerics have like a hammer and a shield equipped to them. Is that it? There's gotta be more that I just can't see. Okay. Um, oh god. We almost got seen there. Let's take, let's study their patrol routes. Are there any safe spots to just kind of hang out? that they won't see us on their patrol. I'm, right now I'm looking at these stairs. I want to try and infiltrate as much as possible. <sighs> Not really. Stairs are a no-go. As far as I can tell. Preferably we can get all the way up here. Let's take a look at the other side. What? Who's this? That's a corpse. I don't need to see the viewing angle of a... Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. It's this guy. That's what we're seeing. Okay, so from over here... How does it look? We do have another person patrolling around. An archer, it looks like. But it also would look like we can maybe get past here? Because that person goes from here to over there, right? Oh, wait. Now we're seeing the vision cone of Drawer, I think. So we can't go any further than that without risk of being seen. I see. So drawer kind of covers the entire room. Now we could do like minor illusion, but if we... Oh, you can't remain cast or remain hidden while casting the spell. We do have an invisibility potion. We do have one, I believe. 
on me. So that can get one of us through. Yeah. We have one on me. Now he has a minor illusion spell. So we may be able to get more people, but then the plan is where do we want the people to be? Probably in the back killing the easy archer and the cleric is probably where we would want to be. You can get by on the side when the guy is pacing. Well, the problem is if we go in here, like I can't get past... Wait a minute. Wasn't this like all filled? What about my Misty? Oh, we do have, also have Misty stuff. You're right. We do also have Misty stuff. Why can't I see your vision cone? Oh. oh my god, they can actually see up in the rafters too. No, 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 no. I thought I wasn't hiding. Oh, no, 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 It looked like he wasn't hiding anymore. No, 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 Hello, Nico. Hello, Maxor. Well, we can get up there. Save's coming for the win. Well, listen, that was going to go poorly because no one else is even in, around that room. So I'm just going to save scum that one. Because I did not... In I thought we were no longer hiding and I was clicking hide to hide. So that wasn't we were seen. That was I just pressed the wrong button. Which is why I'm okay with save scumming that one. Actually, let's get everyone. What's the action to hide? What's like the quick C? Okay. Everyone crouch. Did I go into the crit that Mercenary Band mentioned? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we discovered a skeleton man in that crypt who is now in our camp. And he will offer to resurrect us should we die. Alt F4 heist the whole team. Get out of here. Okay. Now I believe we're safe to open this door. As long as we kind of... Okay. I, I did this because people were making me... You know what? We need to split everybody up. I don't want anyone auto-following anybody. Okay. Just stay there. Okay. Now, do I really even want me or our road to even go up here? I don't actually think I do. I'm okay with myself going up there, I think. So maybe we pop the. Actually, no, we have the Misty Step. Right. Now. The thing about the Misty Step, though, is it doesn't say you can remain hidden while casting. So if we Misty Step to the top of the rafters, we're probably going to get seen, I think. I'm pretty sure. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to give uh, Lazelle the Invisibility Potion. We still have Misty Step in our list of spells to use to get up into the rafters even after combat started. I would like to get the cleric up there, though, too. Hmm. Timing. I don't know how long. Okay, become invisible for a minute. Okay, 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 okay. 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 So I think we invisibility Lazelle up here, and I think we try and maybe murder the caster. 
Okay, so first things first, we need to get you into position. Clara can get advantage on stealth checks. Oh yeah, with her, well yeah, but that uses a spell slot, doesn't it? Well, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? We're not ready yet. Let me, let me look at her pattern here. We basically need to like follow this goblin up. I don't know why it's not showing me her vision cone, and it's making me very nervous. That was very fast! Okay, that only keeps our attention for like a brief moment. Okay, maybe we just keep him here so he's close enough to run up to this archer and then shank her. Maybe that's all we do there. Alright, Githanki, pop potion. Okay. And then... I'm going to try and Misty Step in a moment. And that's probably going to kick things off, I would imagine. Turn base mode, turn base mode. Okay. I need you to let me scroll up more, video game, please. We know that there are rafters here. Please let me see the rafters. It's not going to let me see the rafters, is it? I could go here, but I would much rather be like centralized in the rafter space, but I cannot tilt the camera. Why do you have a skull above our portrait? Well, that's our paid the price with the hag. We're currently hiding and I'm heavily obscured. Hmm. This is... I'm, I need to try and trick the camera into going higher somehow. And I feel like I shouldn't have to because like there's a rafter up here. We've seen it. We've been on top of it. We know it's up there. Please. <sighs> No, I can't tilt up. I can twisty. It zooms out and zooms down. And I cannot look up. <sighs> okay. Well, cancel that for now. And we'll just get things started with a sneak attack. Uh, nah, we actually can't, though. That is being heavily obscured. Climb up with him first in Misty, then climb down. Well, I don't know if I have enough time for all that. We cannot do... I I think... I think if I click this dash action or the cunning dash, we're no longer hiding. That's been my experience, which I think is weird. One, I think that's very, very weird. That I can't do extra movement. So I feel like I need to do a minor cantrip... To make them look over here. And hopefully that takes their turn. And then we can move up again. You. If everyone's going to be looking up that way. I guess at the very least we can just. Skirt around this way. I'm really not entirely sure what to do. With our cleric. I mean we got to get her in the room. I guess we just follow tab in with her that's probably going to break stealth would be my guess 
Tovshin goes skirt skirt. Yes, I'm going skirt skirt. I mean, she also has minor illusions, so we can keep throwing those out, I guess. Okay, that would end her turn. Ah, imp! Hide, imp! Wait, yeah, so the dash cancels the hiding. Ah, I can't risk going through here or else people may see it. So in turn there. And then you are invisible for six more turns. So you're cool just sitting there. So now the AI takes their move. Hopefully they're distracted here. What? This guy never moves from his throne, even when we threw out the last mirror or minor image. What? I'm sorry, what? Well, our rogue is dead. Great. Okay, our Githyanki is dead. Okay, well that's a wipe. Man. Alright, new plan, we just go in. We just go in. We'll get our Githyanki in the back. With the invisibility spell, and then we'll just try and hit the archer with a sneak attack. That's it. No, no in deep plan, and our in depth plan. Separate everybody. Give the invisibility to the Githyanki. Okay. So we'll move over here. Okay, and you're going across. Nope, 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 nope. All right, okay, thank you for potion. Actually, we may want to just we may, we may just want her to go on on Rascal or whatever. Okay, so I think we just have her start the shit. And hopefully we get a Frightened on Drawer. Did we... Was that a 94% success chance and we didn't even hit him? There we go, no, no, we got him, we got him. dead. He's frightened.
Path is interrupted. It's too far away. It is kind of weird that we kind of get as long as we want to to kind of skulk around after combat is already started. That's a little weird. And that's a summon, but who summoned it? Actually, we don't want to get close to those boxes. In fact, we'll throw a Scorching Rain into those boxes. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, surprise round. Good point, good point. Well... Instead of just going for this elaborate plan, like, okay, if we make it to the rafters, and then, like, I jump down about 10 seconds in, and then blah, 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 blah. There we go. There we go. And then you are going to do another attack in this surprise round. Bonus action. And then another attack. And I want him running against the wall, basically, so he can't move that far. And then rally yourself. So I just I, I just started blasting, right? And there we go, and he's dead. Much better. How does this game compare to, to Divinity? Well, if you like Divinity Original Sin 2, you'll probably like this game. Because it's basically Divinity Original Sin, but set in the D&D universe. Uh, so far, I'm a pretty big fan. Jesus, yeah, that went so much better. Holy crap. Ignore that. Is the imp even in this? The imp isn't even in this yet. Hold on. Oh, there we go. I was, I was hoping to try and get in there, but it's fine. Why is the imp getting experience? Do the imps actually level? Your familiars don't level up separately, right? They level up when you do? Or when you get to a certain level? So all that's left now is this novice caster. Very good, very good. Holy shit, we just took that entire room. Parasite crawling from his eye. He was infected. I think we knew he was infected. Man. See, it's all about planning. You know, I, I keep saying it's about plan it's about knowing that there is a cache of explosives in the back that can murder three people at once. It's it's about scouting and knowing your enemy. Oh. 
Scroll of Aid, Healing Word, Guiding Bolt. Okay, hold on. Let's pass off some of these. We'll give these to you. Mm, probably sell off all the rings. Scroll of Brrrr. Hmm. Hmm. Who would I want to have Blur? Actually, I guess our Rogue. That's probably okay. That's an okay choice for Blur. Scroll of Ray of Frost, Scroll of Web. I'm going to put Scroll of Web on Lizelle in case she can't reach somebody and needs to do something cool. You can get a Ray of Frost as well. Why not? Uh, False Life, you can do that. Actually, give that to the Vampire. Shocking Grasp, give that to the Vampire. Is that a bonus act? No, that's an action. Okay. And the mage armor, we're all wearing armor, so the scrolls of mage armor kind of don't do anything anyway. Can the wizard learn from scrolls? Yeah, but we're not using the wizard. Yeah, he's also a cracked addict. Yeah, yeah. He needs those artifacts. Not using the wizard now gives me reason to replay it later, and then we'll use the wizard. And then I'll roll, I'll play as like a ranger or something. Okay, now, now we take these. A bomb. Bombs can be very useful. Faith Breaker. It could be one or two handed. A hand like brand stamped into the leather handle obscures the notches that would normally signify a hobgoblin's rank. Gives us absolute power as an action. What? Scroll to speak with dead, and then he has a key. Which I think we know where that key goes. Uh, give this to the cleric? Instead of the dagger plus one? Because then you can equip this? Oh, shit. Hold on. God. Nope, nope. No. There. Oh, right, she's using this. Chance to encase this target in Sinister Fairy Fire. Oh, and she's not proficient with the Warhammer anyway. Because martial weapons. She is... But then no one else is. So she's the only one who can even use this thing. What the hell does absolute power do? Because it's at least it's a plus one. Deals weapon damage and an additional 1d6 force. On hit, target must make a strength saving throw or be knocked back five units. Okay. And it's a plus one weapon, right? That's, that is an upgrade for her, I guess. What is the best class in Divinity 2? Hmm. There are a lot of really good classes in Divinity 2. I'm trying to think what I enjoyed the most. I really enjoyed the one that changes the person's, like, limbs. Like, it can give you wings and tentacles and stuff. I remember enjoying that one a lot. Uh, but let's also level up. You can use... And equip cross inventory as long as character is selected. Yes, yes, I was doing that a little bit, although it's kind of hard to tell with you, huh? What do we got here? So, level 4, we're up to 31 hit points. That seems pretty good. Cantrips, minor illusion, eh. Divine a character's defenses to give you advantage on attack rolls, mage hand, friends, advantage on charisma checks against it. Hmm. Chill touch. That is a ranged attack. But maybe we do poison spray? In case someone gets like right up on us? I 
actual new spells. What do they do? Do darkness? Okay, I don't know about darkness. Ray of Enfeeblement is good. Deals half um, damage with weapon attacks using strength. That's pretty neat. Oh yeah, Summoner and Necromancer. Those are really good because then you can summon the giant, like undead spider and all this other crap. Yeah, that was nuts. Poison is bad. The con save means almost any everything saves against it. But it's a cool little poison spray. You're just like. Whoosh. Mm. Chill touch then. Witch Bolt has a chance of just doing automatic damage. Call for tendrils of dark energy. Targets take 2d6 necrotic and can't take reactions. The arms of Hadar. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna go with these arms. Sounds neat. Don't want to replace anything. Not really. Oh! New feet! So we can do an improvement? Or grab a feat? Hmm. Gain a spell slot of level 1 that is restored on a long rest. Learn two cantrips and one first level spell from the Warlock spell list. Your spell cast a modifier for these. Interesting. So you can take basic level spells for Cleric, Warlock, and Wizard? As like anybody? What the frick? Ah, uh, thank you for the resale, Profiteer. Thank you! Welcome to the stream! That's... that's nuts. That's pretty dang nuts. When your speed increases when you use dash action, difficult terrain doesn't slow you down. Moreover, if you move after making a melee attack, you don't provoke an attack of opportunity from your target. Hmm. Proficiency with medium, armor, and shields, and your strength and dex score increases by 1 to a maximum of 20. No, no, not really. I don't really want the adept stuff. There's not much for a caster here. I mean, we could... I, I guess we could take a magic initiate just for an extra spell slot, I suppose. But that, I don't know, I think we'll just increase something. We're a charisma based spellcaster, so we'll probably just do that. Bring our charisma to an 18? Or is that, yeah. So an 18 gives us a plus 4 on the modifiers instead of a plus 3. Huh, that list of feats is not great for casters. Okay, so you are up to 27 hit points. Mm, now for you, there's maybe more of a reason to do some of these other ones, like a dual wielder. Gain a plus one bonus armor class while wielding a melee weapon in each hand. You can use two weapon fighting even if your weapons aren't light. Ah, so now that could, he could use like a rapier and that uh, dagger. Hmm. That's not bad, but I also am looking at the uh, mobile. Your speed increases, and when you use dash action, which he can a lot, and we do use a lot, 
then um, he could dash and attack and then even move away without provoking attacks or opportunities like that. That's kind of neat. I think I may do dual wielder. Except. And with dual wielder, now. Where is that rapier? You're wielding the rapier, aren't you? Oh, no, no, I am. I am. So, let's go to. What the hell is that mode? Cool. Uh, that's not what I want. I guess it's worse. Okay, so send this to Asterion. We go to Asterion. Okay, so you should be able to equip that and then equip this. There we go. So you can do that. And then I can just use this spear again. I'm okay with that. Yeah, that works out for me. Although, I think I actually want to flip these, because... Actually, can I? Cool. Because the rapier does more damage, and it's our offhand weapon, and we can technically do more attacks with the offhand weapon, because we can use an action, and then we have two bonus actions with the rogue, so we can do uh, Stabby Stabby twice. So I think that's a better setup for us. Okay, Cleric. Light. Infuse an object with an aura of light. Hmm. Hit points 27. What do we have? Manifest a sign of supernatural power that grants you advantage or intimidation and performance checks. Oh, on intimidation and performance checks. Ah, uh, sure. Light is fine. Prepared spells. I mean, we can kind of change these at any time, so it doesn't really matter. And then they want you to improve your ability score. I'm not against that, actually. Gain proficiency with heavy armor and increase your strength score by one. No. Learn two maneuvers from the Battle Master archetype? What? If you sneak attack, isn't that an auto crit? Is sneak attack auto critting? Sneak attack, I think, only allows you to roll your sneak attack die. I don't think it's an auto crit. An auto crit, I think, is only if someone is prone or asleep. Then you get, like, the coup de gras, which I think is automatically maximum damage, maybe? Again, like... Not really... Like, all of these are kind of, like, fighter stuff. Weird, man. I guess we just buff up your wisdom to an 18? And then let's throw... Where's charm? Oh, that's blindness. Uh, whole person there. I thought you had charm. Okay. I'm assuming there's going to be more feat selection later on in the game. There has to be, because there's like, there's nothing for casters here. But there is for you. We have quite a list. Great Weapon Master. When a melee attack scores a critical hit or kills a creature, you can make another melee attack as a bonus action. When attacking with heavy weapons you are proficient with, attack rolls take a minus 5 penalty, but their damage is increased by 10. These are all the feats, basically? Why? How is this all of the feats in 5th edition? The 5th edition has been out for like 8 years. This can't be it. Dude, like... 3.5 had a list of like fucking a hundred or more feats. This cannot be all the feats in this game. I 
guess great weapon master? Ah, man, like these feats are just... Again, I, I, I kind of just would rather take the ability improvements. What a weird system. Man, feats used to be such like a big deal. I guess they're not as much of a big deal in 5th uh, in edition. Okay, well, let's go up and unlock this door. Hell yeah. Loots! One gold! 25 gold! I'm getting less excited. Nothing! If that's something that Amulet is really god touched, Gale would want to see it. Gale's not getting his hands on this. The gems and pearls of this necklace have a brilliant shine as if reflecting unseen moonlight. Gives you an evocation cantrip. Evocation cantrip, huh? Hmm. Who's not wearing a necklace? Okay. What does that give her? Let's see. Saloon's Dream. 1d8 plus 0 hit points. A creature you touch re regains hit points, but potentially falls into a slumber. Wants per long rest. Uh... But could fall into a slumber. And it only regains 1d8 once per long rest? Uh, okay. I guess we could use that as a temporary heal outside of combat. Because the thing is, is, like, they could potentially fall into a slumber, so it's not even a guarantee sleep spell against an enemy. Well, that's not a, that exciting. Man, you know what? For a horde, this is very disappointing. But I guess they are just goblins and hobgoblins. What do they know about treasure? Okay. I was kind of pumped to get into that room. All right, now we're coming across another potential bad thing. So, it's time to plan for an hour and then just die. You hide too. Let's see what we're dealing with here. The good news is they won't be expecting us from behind. Because no one even looks behind them, it looks like. So we've got Q. Man, there are a lot of them though. Holy shit. But we have True Soul Gut, the High Priestess herself that we're probably going to want to start our attacks on. Grease. And then this is like this could be a one-hit kill there. And then down here we have another cleric, I think. A basic spellcaster? Oh, it's a torturer guy. Okay. Sniper, lookout grush, that's a warrior. We don't want to get over here because then that drags in those other people. So I guess we just go for true soul gut again, but we don't have an invisibility potion this time. And as soon as we hit, because I think I want to initiate with Lazelle. Because she has the potential of doing a massive amount of damage. And if we do that, then people are going to be looking directly at her. So that means we want him, like, hiding off to the side. 
Like, even right here would be fine if no one actually sees back here. And it looks like this corner may be safe. Well, is it though? Poison? Hmm. We do have one poison bottle, don't we? Coats one slashing or piercing weapon or three pieces of ammunition with poison that inflicts 24 poison damage. Hmm. We could do that. Although right now she's wielding a Warhammer, so that doesn't work for her. So it would have to be on you. Let's see if taking this action removes us from hiding. No, okay. I mean, we could, we could just... Who has the better chance here? Well, they're, they're the same. Uh, no, I did not take poison spray. Okay. I'm actually gonna probably pop out the side after all this hell, hell breaks loose. To just kind of start sneaking in closer. We should probably go into turn, turn base mode. Okay. Now, who do we do? Do we do the frighten? Then follow up with poison. I think so. You think I wasted the poison? What does the poison dissolve? That's not how poison works. Last one minute. Oh, that's stupid. They have no idea. They have no idea. <laughs> okay. The surprise miss? Both of those attacks miss? Okay, wasn't expecting that. 84% chance to hit, and they both miss. At least one of us hit. So whose actual turn is it right now? Yours? Oh my god! Oh my god. No, not Lazelle. 55% chance. <sighs> okay. Got a hit. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I forgot the imp's action. Shit, I keep forgetting the imp. Oh god. Oh god. Two hit points. There it is. In and out. Take that gut. Wow, that was a good throw. Wait, where was that guy? Did he throw from like right here? Did that make any kind of sense? <laughs> ah, we have to move because we're in the blindness. Hold on. Be rallied, buddy. Oh my god. Oh boy. Well, she's about to go down. Great. We gotta like jump out of the fire. Come on. Okay. That works. Focus concentration, so that's cool. Uh, the imp is in combat. I, I believe. Yeah, it just hasn't gone done its turn yet. Oh, it's frightened. Okay. Temporarily satisfy plus one to all attack rolls, saving throws, and skill checks until the next rest. Cool. Wow, that damage is actually pretty good. Okay. Try and keep her alive. All right, one more down. Is there backstabbing? Uh, there are stealth attacks, but to do that, we need the person to be like threatened. There needs to be at least another person here. No heal spells. None whatsoever. So I think we just try to. Oh, I can't. Hmm. Get behind here, and then I guess we'll have to do a sacred flame. Did not go through. Dark One's Blessing gives us some hit points. Mm. You get a good attack bonus from behind? Wait, you do? I didn't know there was a attack bonus just from being behind somebody. Like, flanking, sure, but there's actual positional attack bonuses? 
Wait, what? How did you even see her? In this, you get an attack bonus from behind, but a normal fifth edition, no. Oh, man. Okay. Curse you, imp. How dare you. All right, we got an auto attack off. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, get away from me. We need to go help them. Uh, especially you. I don't have enough moment! Are you serious? Oh, that's unfortunate. I do not have enough movement. Okay, cool. I want you to do a fly action over here so you don't get an attack for opportunity. Just want to block them from moving any further up. Come on. That works. How do you see this prone body at the base of the stairs? That makes no sense! Oh my god, he made it that way. We gotta help this guy. I have to help him. Get away. This is really bad because we're all tightly packed now. I have no heals at all. Oh. Okay. 55% chance. I'm assuming this is the same. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, that actually works. Mainly, I just wanted to try and split us up a little bit so we don't just get killed by one AoE. That actually worked. Which I am happy about. Boom! One shot, one kill. I'll take some hits. Oh, I'll stand out in the open. This is fine. That is the first time I've seen the AI use any kind of push commands. Oh boy. Oh boy. I have one bonus action left, so all I can do is hide, but if this person comes around like he's probably going to, then we're going to be seen anyway. Unless he goes straight that way. He did. So he is still hiding. Um, so we can probably miss the step out of there? Right? Yeah. 
and my sleeping imp is in the way. I'm not going to be able to attack from there, I don't think. Uh. Mm. Well, I'm going to try. Oh, we can! <laughs> Critical miss. Okay. Did you take no fall damage from that? Oh, well, that's fine. Because, again, I should be able to Misty Step out of there. I don't know if Invoke Duplicity would... I don't think this would distract the spiders that way. I don't think. I think it's only there to set up a situation to do, like, advantage on targets. I think. Just hang on there. We'll throw a... Well, here, we'll see. Will anyone attack this target? Because there are still goblins out there. Oh, shit! These are neutral to the... Oh, man! I didn't even realize that. Target is out of sight? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh... What target will be inside? This is- this looks so bad. I need to be able to select, like, a floor. I can't see the edge of this floor above me. I can't see the floor! To try and target the spell to the ledge above me. What the fuck? <sighs> I can't see that. Oh, this is all sorts of shit. Alright, dash action. Mine webbed. Just need to get as far away as possible, I guess. I'm gonna fly my imp down here to protect me. It goes over your character line sorry for that spell. Yeah, but like I can still see the ledge. I should be able to teleport up there. I just need you to block for me there, buddy. Okay, so they're focusing on them. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Mmm. You know what? Just do a dash action. This is fun. Then hide again. Uh, 
And then she is going to go over here. Hopefully we can jump up there next turn. And you're just hiding. I'm assuming there's a way out of here? I would assume incorrectly. There's no... There's apparently a ladder floating in midair? No, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. This is the throne room. It's just I'm under the throne room. I can't, but it won't let me see the... Okay, this is really weird. So I guess we're down here, huh? Okay. Well, since those... Am I in webbed again? Oh, I can't move anymore. Suppose we should do our best to kill these. Is there any loot down here? There's a bunch of skulls. A lantern. Skeleton. We still want them to focus on the torture spike. So I'm just going to leave my imp here. That's fine. Oh, Jesus. So how do we open this? There's got to be a lever, right? There it is. Okay. Why attack the neutral mobs? Because for right now, I'm stuck down there. Which means they're going to be coming for me, right? Because yellow, I think that means they're going to attack either me or them, right? They're just like a third party. I'm assuming. Because I don't see why the spiders wouldn't want to kill me. There's spiders. They're not going to be like, oh no, you're, you're a cool drow. You're fine with me. Damn! Hit him so hard that he... The graphics broke. Do I have animal friendship? I, I have a single scroll of animal friendship. Hello, Zerga. Apparently she's still here. I mean, I guess we can see what the spiders go after, but I'm pretty sure I'm next on the dinner list? Loth is a spider lady? Yeah, but like, these aren't spiders of Loth, like I'm not their animal handler. Here, I won't attack on this turn and see what they do. Okay. This makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> At all. Those spiders should be a neutral party that attacks anybody and everybody that gets close to them. So then I guess you might as well try and lure this boss down here closer to the spiders? Can I speak to them? Uh, we can't speak in the middle of combat. I'm very judgmental of spiders. I mean, they're not an intelligent creature. They work on instinct. These are not spiders with top hats like, oh, cheerio, old boy. You're not a goblin at all, are you? These aren't, like, dogs, even. OK. 
Okay, I'm gonna try to move past these. Again, I say this doesn't make any sense. I'm a spider sis? Whoa! Now it's just straight up a friendly. It's little circle went to, from yellow to green. It doesn't make sense! Come on, people chat. Does that make any kind of sense for the spider to specifically target the goblins and not me? Unless, I guess, you know, magically large spiders are more intelligent creatures? Could be druids? I guess it could be druids. If it is druids, then, the, then this will make a lot of sense. If they're not druids, then I still say it doesn't make any sense. So stay outside. Sorry for shooting you with an Eldritch Blast, I guess. vision cone. Is that like a trap? Because he only has one hit point, so I don't really want him to just be out in the open like, hey. That one is having reservations. Okay. Well, do I have any more potions of speak to animal? Really? Gribbo? I thought the spiders hacker would be there for a moment after they were like, okay, now that the goblins are dead, now it's your turn. But no, it's Gribbo. You know Gribbo. She had our bard captured. Are you telling me I can't just like walk over this little bench? I can't just walk over the bench. Okay, that's very angering or infuriating. The frick did that even go to? To that Gribbo, sing to your face. I'm burning. We're just we're sitting here burning. All right, everyone, everyone attach back up. The spider's going back to its cage. What the frick?
Better find somewhere to camp soon? I agree, but first... I want to pop this potion. No, I want to click on me. Me, 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 me. There we go. Yes, my desire. Closer, my sweet. I will wrap you and bind you and bite you and eat you. See? See? How dare you? Do you not recognize me, Loth, Queen of Spiders? Loth, can it be you? Suddenly, a suffocating wave of divine rage surges through the spider pit. It hadn't occurred to you that Loth might be listening. Shaking with the goddess's fury, the spider shrieks, then attacks. <sighs> I was going to have a conversation with them because they didn't attack me. And then as soon as I start talking to them, they're like, oh, I'm going to freaking murder you. And so I was like, well, shit, now I got to get out of this situation. And then I failed to save. This is what I'm talking about. Like, that's why it didn't make any sense. The spiders should have attacked me at the very beginning. Because as soon as I initiate a conversation, they're like, oh, I'm going to gonna eat well tonight. Nuts. <laughs> um, I mean, they can just jump. Hmm, that's unfortunate. There we go. Uh, one of us should probably help her up. So now I'm fighting the spiders? Yeah, right? Weird. Okay. Early access. He had a jagged spear. This mains target on hit? I'm assuming that means it slows them down? Let's get all the loots. Speak. No, I don't want to speak to you. You want that no. large, fleshy nose of you. Yeah, no matter. I do not intend to stay long in this place. Shut up. I'm trying to click on the freaking goblin. you have absolute talisman when the wearer has less than 25 percent of their hit points left and deals damage they regain hit points is that right 
Hey, thank you for the host, Josh. Welcome. Huh. Absolute protection. Hmm. Priestess key. Crude mace. Okay. Okay. Give this to... Maybe the rove? And we'll leave this in there in case they need... I don't know. Speak to an animal. And then you will take the shield. Okay. And then take this potion as well because you get targeted a lot. Was that a plus one shield or just a shield with an ability? I think it's just a shield with an ability, right? So what was the ability? There we go. Absolute shields his faithful. Invoke his name to increase your armor class by two. Once per short rest. Okay. Okay. Novice Grease. Okay. We're going to definitely have to rest until, or before we move onward. Which is okay, because we've cleared out most of this area. Anyone have anything to say? No. Bard? No? Okay. Check out the spider pit. I feel it has great loot. There wasn't anything in there. This time we will summon a closet. Ugh. Well, hello. Hello, little one. You have less hit points than the last one. Lash at a creature to frighten it. 2d4 slashing, and they also have invisibility. Hmm. But the other one flies, so we may go back to that one. There were skeletons? You said there was bodies on the right. Oh, over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know there's like the archer there, but that doesn't matter. Mac, are you leading me into this because you know for certain that there's something down here? Because you seem to be pushing pretty hard for this, this spider pit area with a bunch of skulls. mouth well that looks like a false wall that's a real one. Um, I 
a spider egg? A lot of spider eggs? Okay. Neat little cave. Now she's in webbed. Check it out of there. Weird. Graphical blood. Uh, blood. Graphical bug. Cultist brand. Nothing actually here. Okay. Now we can go into her room. I wonder if we're aggroed with the dwarf and those two elves. They are no longer here. Interesting. We didn't kill them. How'd you get in here out now? Let me walk freely and you won't regret stopping me. All right. Well, this is going to go great. not expect the blast to go way out here <laughs> I think we got him I think I think we got him okay flamio hotman well let's see what's left of the charred corpses of Roa Moonglow oh Okay, I'll take all that. Alright, I'll take all that. And Erna. I murdered my imp. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no, my imp. Huh. You're staring at me again. What do you want? Uh, nothing right now. Sorry, I didn't mean to search. I'm trying to move. My character is stuck over there for some reason. Oops, oops. Okay, well, I think I think we got everything here. Yeah, my character is stuck. Oh, he's encumbered. Oh, 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 oh. oh. I didn't think it would let us carry stuff. Oh, yeah, we are, we are. Okay, hold on. Chain shirt plus one. Can you wear this? Ah, nuts. I'm gonna need to give him proficiency on medium armor. Heavy crossbows or martial weapons? Oh, can anyone even use this? You can, instead of the short bow. Okay, equip that. Ooh, a halberd! I do like halberds. Hmm. Do you like halberds? I'm glad I didn't buy that off of her. I didn't think we would be killing her later, but here we are.
Can you use a longbow? Okay, go with that then. A javelin? Rusted fishing harpoon repurposed as a weapon. Can't dual wield. Oh, that's what she had. Okay. Trying to lessen my burden over here. Okay. Well, I think uh, we probably should rest. Okay, that's a little bit better. Man, that was cool. I like I knew that this room was going to blow up. I didn't realize the entire area was going to blow up. It was just bop, 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 bop. <laughs> It's great. All right, what do we got back here? Quick saving. Scroll of acid air. Oh, hi, bodyguard of the high priestess. I've been bulgar bulgarized. Hey, you get out. N no. How about no? Give me that sweet nectar of life. <laughs> Olma. How dare you. Hmm. Let's try and jump away from her. Okay, I hit you once. Look at that cool halberd. Very cool. She saved on the frightening roll. Ah, we'll hold the rally. Shouldn't we be getting the sneak attack off right here? Since she's being threatened by others? Oh my god, this battle log. One D4 piercing plus one plus three dex modifier. Have to move to her back? But that's not how sneak attack Oh, in this game, that's how sneak attack works. I have to actually be behind her for sneak attack to work. Sneak attack should be, like, as long as you have another creature threatening them, they are, like, you know, threatened and flanked, so you should be able to hit them with sneak attack. Moffins, thank you for the donation! That's one big lady? Yeah, she is. You should have saw earlier in the last stream, we interrupted a lady like this having sex with a bugbear, and they were not happy about that. Thank you for the donation, Muffins. Well, oh, Al. Yeah, the bugbear was like half her size. It was, and like she was on her back, legs up, and everything. There was no question as to what they were doing. Hello, Swainy. Scroll of Burning Hands. Potion of Poison. Something over there. The pouch? OK. 
Okay. Padlock key. A is for Azuth, the other gods, 11. Collection of children's rhymes about the gods, Saloon, Shar, and Sylvanas. <laughs> Just taking a rest. Another scroll of blur and web. Basic poison. Are we? Well, let's quick save it. Oh, also, we can use her necklace ability, which is not on here. Did I take that off? No, she's got it. Question mark? Maybe she can't actually use it? Oh, wait, no, there it is. There it is. Okay. It just doesn't have a symbol. All right, we'll give it to you. We're on the same side last time I checked. <laughs> it's considered an attack. Any kind of sense? Hold on. Because if we retrace our steps, this door leads out to that like grand hall, which I feel like I guess we're right underneath it now. Damn, we all suck. Uh, okay, hold on. So we need to turn. Shit. Okay. Okay. I have seen those symbols around the the area. You think you got it, Nico? I should hold on. Already? Because I was about to run around the cathedral because there are, like, there's, there's things that look like this out in the cathedral. I guess the only question is... Hmm. I'm assuming it's like, you know, full, then half, then empty, then half, then... It's about the amount of light on each one? Yeah.
And so then this one needs to be empty, right? Is that wrong? And then this one needs to be... Another half? No? Is that not right? Because this seems to be like the special one because it's got all the symbols on it. But yeah, I guess not because that doesn't do anything. Fuck, I hate puzzles. What are these two? There's, there's something here. It's just not showing it, right? Ugh. Can you say your full theory? Sure. I hate puzzles. If you know the answer, just let me know. It's just about, like, making sure all the full ones are on one thing, the empty ones are on one thing. There's nothing here that's where the other pieces go. Uh... Puzzles are great. No, I hate them. Perception failed. Damn. That's unfortunate. Over where? Oh my god. When they perceive something, it needs to stand out more. Over where? Oh! So that's a lever? You think all the full ones go in where the light is shining? Okay, we'll give that a shot. That's easy enough to do. Something the matter? No, I'm not trying to talk to you. So like that? Okay. Oh shit. So this has to be where all the darkness is. Wait a minute, you're right, there were two pieces missing before. Why is there only one now? You know what, I, I just, well, I'll do this later. 
I just want to go kill things. You don't have any missing pieces? Oh, so it's like a graphical glitch? That's like slowly correcting itself? I, I have like no patience for puzzles at all. I'll come back here like after the stream and then I'll figure it out. Or just look it up. So that was everything, right? Oh wait, no, there's still that's that the uh, weird torturer guys over here, right? How do, how do you feel about what I did? These goblins have blood on their minds. I am leaving. I suggest you do the same. Okay. Uh, I probably still don't care about Liam. Maybe if the druid wants me to get him down, I'll help him. Yep, so these are the clues. Right? These, this has to be like the clue. Because then there's another thingy in the room that we exploded. This. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's all the same clue. So it's the halves pointing towards the sun and then the darkness. Yeah, okay. So let's go to... Like, what was back here? Did we kill the people who were back here? Yeah, because this is the war pins, right? Yeah. Yeah, and this is where Halson is. The ringleaders have to die. The very natural order of things is in danger. Oh, I didn't kill any goblins outside the cathedral, though. Oh, you there did we go. It. You actually did it. The leader's dead. <laughs> Praise Sylvanus. No, that's not right. Praise you, my friend. The Grove owes you a debt beyond measure. Killing yeah, just get the tap on the head. Choice. But those three were too dangerous to leave alive. Okay, so I need your help. It soon enough. Return to the grove. I'll make my own way there. Once I've seen to some matters, then we can discuss your problem. That wasn't the th oh, okay. Well, at least we have a we have a chance. Lockpick the lever. Okay, I'll give that a try. And I gotta run all the way back though. Okay, I guess that door is open. God, that halberd's so big. Love it. I love a good old halberd.
Now all the pieces are missing. Someone's been down here. Who took the pieces? I don't think it's working. What's weird is that I don't even see a DC to hit. It's just saying, like, you just, you know, you're not doing it. We used all of our thieves tools to try and unlock this. It worked for you? Well, it didn't work for me. And all these pieces are go- oh my god. You know what? I don't even, I don't even want to, I don't even want to mess with it. Let's just go back to the grove. Talk to this druid. See if we get this tadpole out of our head. And also sell all this stuff. Hello! With the leadership dead, no attack will be mounted on the grove. I am in your debt, my friend. Speak to Wrath. He will reward you for your efforts. Uh-huh. And what so, about my problem? First, I must set matters to rights in the grove. I don't you have soon! Victory. After being dormant for so long, your infection is unlikely to produce new symptoms spontaneously. Tomorrow I have an illithid worm crawling around in my brain! I want it to be cured Thank now. There are no easy paths to what you seek. If you seek my aid, you must show patience. I slaughtered all those goblins to get this thing out of my head, and now you're like, listen, man, you can wait another day. It's just another day. Let's go. Okay, where's this wrath at? Is that the name? Wrath? Wrath is down here. So it's true. You scattered the goblins. Peace Did. will finally return to this corner of the Sword Coast. Thank you. Of course. Listen, I'm just here to trade. Okay. I'll keep on. Don't need the apple. I'll keep the arrows, it's fine. Okay. Give me money. Thank you. Next. Oh, I'll keep the Diary of Lump the Enlightened. The Intelligent Ogre. <laughs> I'll keep that. Hmm. Yeah, we'll keep the Chain Shirt plus one. We'll keep that. Fire Bottle. We'll keep a Fire Bottle and a Grease Bottle. Uh, I don't really want to part with this quite yet. Okay. And I don't believe that you have anything that I really want. Uh, 
I think I sold you all those. Okay. So we were able to barter most everything away. Whatever that means. Get on my face. I better get something amazing for slaughtering all these goblins that I didn't even want to kill. The draw was fine. The mind flayers have only been after assholes so far, just saying. That's true. Where is this rat at? Oh, they're in here? There you are. Master Hudson is past his prime. You've done it. You brought Holson back. I did. Thank you. No, thanks is not enough. May Sylvanus bless you for all your days. I cannot imagine taking on a camp full of goblins was a simple task. That's pretty simple Fair for enough. me. I should not have underestimated you. Let me show you on your map where you can find the cash. Take this. You'll need it. The Rune of the Wolf? You don't have the reward here? I have to go fetch it? Master Helsin's home by Sylvanus's mercy. Is there a button that we can press to like condense the equipment, just like reorganize it? Usually these types of games have a button like that. Come now. He took in those trays and then he just left. He went to make sure those strays could go. That works. All right, so now you have to go actually out to find the cash. All right, well, let's camp here. Daughter of Darkness Damn update. It has to open, surely. It has to do something. Shadowheart's attention is consumed by a strange box that she turns over in her hands. The box is inscribed with glyphs similar to those used by the githyanki hmm how'd you come by that In an instant shadow heart hides the box from view keep out of it no need to be secretive a you can trust me statement if not an accurate one leave me be <sighs> i love my party This party sucks, I'm going to sleep. The cash is in the druid room? It is? Like in this room? Still have some Nogrod in the stores. Uh, that doesn't look good. That's curious. What's curious? What did what did you see? Oh, is it this? Ah, oh, right, the rune. Also, what's up with this? Do we just activate all these? Something over there. Okay, he perceived something. 
But I don't think it was perceiving this statue going down. So what did he see? Hmm. Have I not met Will? I don't know who that is. Okay, potions. Wyvern potion, or poison? Okay. Okay. Rare material or martial two-handed melee weapon. It has extra reach. Ensnaring strike. The wielder takes one psychic whenever they deal damage using this blade. What? The wielder takes psychic whenever they deal damage using this blade? Uh, okay. I love wicked looking knife. Why hide it here? I love taking damage when I attack. This robe's thin fabric is pleasantly warm. Resistance to cold damage. Okay. Is that it? Did I just kill all those goblins for this? It's a super strong sword? Is it? I mean, it's a glaive. What is ensnaring? Let's see what ensnaring strike does. Um, doesn't show me. Oh, here we go. Your attack summons thorny vines, dealing 1d10 plus 5 slashing and possibly entangling your target. And then we can use this once per short rest. Okay. Yeah, that that's cool. That's pretty cool. I guess we'll keep both, because I would ever only want to use the ensnaring strike here, because and then just switch to the halberd. Looks baka kawaii though. What does that even mean? A great robe for Gale. Who's Gale? I don't know any Gale. I was about to be like, you gotta be kidding me. And so this room is full of poison. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I want to go through there. What's past the poison? I don't know. Oh no, I know who Gale is. I was just making a joke. Well, what do we do now? Halston thanked us and said that Wrath would surely reward us for our efforts. Wait for Halston at camp. Don't say that. Come now. He took in the Now that Halston is here, Korga will surely see sense. I hope whatever rot was lurking in her heart can be swiftly cut away. Familiars love poison? That's a good point. That's a good point.
What would have the highest hit points? Spider? Nope. You're nope. staring at me again. No, I'm not trying to stare at you. What? Oh, I can't open this door. Fine. I have to get the Yankee to do it. Not enough space. Oh, this is just back here. We did perceive something though at the very end, but I can't tell you what it was that we perceived. Well, maybe go back out and talk to Halson? And Kaga? Korga? The child murderer? Don't mind me, I'm just gonna walk over your table, I guess. upon yourself to undertake the right of thorns i ought to exile you from this place forever instead i shall listen to the explanation that you owe me i owe you nothing goblins swarmed us like roaches when you stumbled after the past you chose to abandon us i chose to protect us silence the right has been ended i will allow you to stay but consider yourself a novice anew. You have forgotten the ways of the druids, our place in the natural order. You shall learn it all once again, right here. Backslide, and nature's fury will crush you. As you wish, Master Halcyon. We do like to sow chaos, so maybe we should rile up. She did a child's dead because of her though. Misdeed. One she will never live down. But the grove still needs her passion. You will soon see Aww. why. We will talk more of it tomorrow. Hello, Smirnock. Okay, tomorrow I guess. Peace. Enjoy it while it lasts. Listen, you should just like kill some people. Okay, never mind. Where does this go? Whoa. Autosave successful. Is that a siren? Is someone singing? Well, that's probably not good. Oh, yeah, that's probably not good. Near the water. Yeah, that's... I don't know where they got the, like, the band to back them up. Listen. A 
sweet melody beckons you. It vibrates with magic. A harpy's charm. Oh, harpies. Careful, Arisen. Harpies. Well, I suck. It's a cool Your song, though. Fills with yearning. You want to get closer. You need to get closer. Just a few more steps and you can lose yourself. She didn't even stop talking. Huh. Interesting look for harpies. Hello, harpies. Okay. I guess we're just going to kill you now. I suppose. Ooh. You know what? Hold on. Let me give you all the arrows while we're here. And the poison. Electrifies blood and water. Creates an ice surface. I did my best. We gotta go. We gotta go. They're gonna be throwing at me, so I'm a little worried. What? What happened? What did they do to me? They used flight. Okay. Oh, I can't use my jump spell because I already used it. Oh wait, 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 wait. Yeah, no, no, yeah, because I already used it. Yeah, shit. Well... Yeah, take that heavy crossbow to the face! No, kid! Actually, you know what? It's fine. It's fine, Murkon. Be free. Do what you want to do. Oi! Are they throwing rocks at me? Is that what you're doing to me? Is this... Is this life? Okay, now I'm going to hit you with the blast. It's going to be fine. Don't worry about it. All right, I'm not going to hit you with the blast. Don't worry about that. Singing a luring song. Creature must make a wisdom save after or every turn or be controlled by the harpy's song. I don't know, it's a pretty cool song. I'm okay with this. Take me. Listen, I'm yours. But she's not the one singing, so I she's free game. spider what up spider get up here you're gonna do great things yeah now you're threatened 
by Spider-Man. Oh, well, that works too, I guess. Will you stop throwing rocks at me? Also, hella tribute because like not worked. That's very upsetting. I'm okay with this. You wanna sit up there? That's fine. That's fine. Sit up there. Sit up there for days. Go, child. Be free. Be free. Hold on. Too high? Yeah, we'll go for this one. Hi. Oh no! I have been leered. Don't fall for the temptation. You fool. Ooh, no more singing for you. All right, Spider-Man, it's your turn. It's your time to shine. Get it. Get it. <laughs> Critical miss. You did good. Miss. You're still doing good. Oh, no. She's singing now. We must silence her. Shut up. Oh my gosh, she's still singing. Oh no, I have been lured. He has not been lured. Mm, let's do the cunning dash. We shall silence you. Shut up. Shut it. Sing at me one more time. See what happens. Too high. Really? So this... This is too high for the spell, but not for the bow. They're the, the same range, though. Get a spider. There you go. <laughs> One damage. Never say you didn't do anything. Madam, your day is up. I would have let you have the boy, but then you had to try and lure me in are they gone you're drowning son get out of the water mm, but she's asking are you all right uh, maybe yes I mean I don't know all right well go back to your parents there's worse in the wilds than harpies Oh, so uh, I didn't get the listen, gold kid. from the nest. I got to go. I didn't want your story. Wait, um, you should meet Mole. She'll be grateful you helped me. Find a boy called Donny. Tell him you want to see the dragon's lair. What? I want to see the what? Is there even anything up here? We will find out. 
Yeah, is this kid a fan of Dragon's Lair? Because I'm not. That game is just designed to suck your quarters. I mean, I guess we play the arcade version. There's nothing even up here. These harpies had nothing. Okay, so go see Donnie? The child said we should pay a visit to Mole. We should tell a child named Donnie that we want to see the dragon's lair. Find the night song. A child called Arabella was killed by Kaga's snake. We should find her parents and tell them what happened. So where is Donnie? Arabella's mother- no, 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 not, not that one. Oh, there's Donnie. Okay, so Donnie's back in the Druid's Grove. You know, Donnie. Hey, Donnie! Looking for the Dragon's Lair. That was a neat little fight. Was not expecting harpies. Do these druids know that they had just a family of harpies living outside? Hey, there's Donnie. And now that now this has been done. The kid grunted at me and now now that's it. With Shadowheart? You want to try with the vampire next? <gasps> what are you doing back here? Oh, cuz he cuz he has to cross the water. Maybe we should try to get the Yankee. She's good with kids. Hmm. <clears throat> try the spider? Kids love spiders. Where's the spider? Gosh darn it, spider! <laughs> okay! Well, where's Mole? Well, you know, let's go speak to Ar Arabella's mother. That could cause some chaos. Yo, by the way, these druids, they murdered your child. Bye! Bye! One sorrow ended, the next soon to begin. I'd have let the goblins take me if it meant Arabella lived. Why even fight? What? What? That's their response? To the druids killing their child? That was nothing! Wow, they really took that well. Also, who's Mole? Hello, Majestic. Welcome. I'm so confused right now. They expected me to talk to them before I dealt with the goblins? The goblins have nothing to do with it, though! And now the game isn't sure what to do? What the fuck? Also, who is Mole? Can I only get to Mole if I was told where the dragon's lair is? 
I probably don't even care about mold, but now I'm, I'm curious because I can't do it. Oh, right, the Night Song must be the thing that is down in that puzzle room. When the goblins defeated the Typhling can safely return to the road, they will be happy to learn the news. Talk to the Typhling leader. Which is what, like, Zevron or something? Things are breaking down, man! Which is fine, it's early access, like, there's gonna be problems. Where is Zevron? Shoot, I don't know where he is. I definitely care, trust you. I, well, I mean, I don't know where Mole is. Ooh, can I just take this stuff? It's not marked as stealing, so... That's Ikaron. Meli. Where is Zevron walking around? Zaki. Toron. We can talk to Donnie again. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna lose my mind though. Talk to the Typhoon leader. Show on map. Dragon's there was a foul joke in that kid's head that was filled with unclean and bad intentions. No, it's not! It's a, it's a thing! Oh, they, they killed- last time we were here, this goblin was still alive. She's not alive anymore. I don't know what to do. The quest is bugged out. Melly. Dennis. Now I can't find Zevron anywhere. He's not down here either. I think this is where he was before. But he's not there now. You would think he would be, like, over here, right? With all the other Typhlings? Getting ready to leave? Zevron is usually in, his, in there. Yeah, yeah, like, that. we've seen him in there, but he's not there now. And he's not over here. I don't know who Mole is. Oh, maybe it's up here. There's a gathering up here. We actually did it! We did. Panderna. Quex, dang it, Mimnos, Arca. Not up here either? You killed the goblins. Hope you made them suffer. Hello, team. She takes control of doors. Rika. Maybe go talk to this lady again? What? Nadira is dead? Is that the pink haired lady? What the hell happened to her? I did not kill her, and we prevented the bugbear assassin from killing her. Why is she dead? Is this her? Hold on. Let me throw her body out so I can see her hair. Ah! 
I think? I think that's her, yeah. What happened to her? <laughs> she was alive! Oh my god, man. Do you know where Zevron is? I'm going to have to write a song about you now, aren't I? But truly, thank you. It's nice to be done with the sad songs. For a time. I feel like there is more to her. Uh, speak with Dead. Yes, actually we can try that. We do have that amulet somewhere. Someone has that, right? I think she's wearing it. Yes, she is. The corpse does not respond. Maybe Zevron's down here with the druids? I mean, the weird thing is, like, I I don't believe the corpses can resist your speak with dead. Like, I think they have to respond. They don't really get, like, a saving throw. But since this is a video game and they can't actually write dialogue for literally every single corpse you find, they just be like, yo, they don't want to talk. Like, okay. Tahan ba Bosk? Nah, Zevron's not down here either. To shade you, his branches to point your path, his shelter to protect you. Thank you. Oh, fuck is Zevron? Where is Vol? You'll be happy to learn the news. Talk to the Typhling leader. Maybe, maybe if we just, like, refresh the map, you know? Maybe if I just go back to a fast travel point and then come back in? Will that clean things up a bit? Also, they should probably clean these corpses up. Rods and it's gonna be bad. Zevlor. There he is. He wasn't there though. See, all you gotta do is restart your machine, and it a scout fixes everything. Reported. The goblin's leadership has been decimated. We might escape this place yet. I took a collection from all of us. It isn't much, but you've earned it. It's Thank not you. enough, but it's all we have. Maybe the kid works now. I... We have put our lives on hold long enough. Just a little longer now, thankfully. But perhaps we need not speak of farewells. We'll join your camp tonight to celebrate if you'll have us. My people are ready to leave when you are. Oh, this is the way out of Act 1, isn't it? Just give the word. This seems like a yo word transitioning to Act 2.
But, like, I can't leave. I, I need to talk to this dude about taking this thing out of my head. Yo, take this thing out of my head. I'm gonna check Donnie. But also, if this is the end of Act 1, this does not feel like it as long as Act 2 Divinity Original Sin. Like they said it was. Donnie sucks. Hello, Jugtar. How long is Act 1? I was told that it's longer than Act 2 of Divinity Original Sin 2. There's 25 hours of content in Early Access, supposedly. 25 hours? Really? Do they mean if you replay it a couple times? Excellent. Lead the way. All oh, the true, we haven't gone to the Underdark yet. True. We're ready to head to your camp. Are you? Excellent. Lead the way. I guess just hit the camp button. As you approach the camp, you hear the sound of a celebration in full swing. I hope you'll pardon them. They meant to wait for you. But it's been some time since they've had cause to celebrate. I'm glad to see they haven't forgotten how. Will you join them? Uh, I guess we can all use the night off. I can party. I suppose we could at that. I came out here to think. Plan out our next steps. But you're right. The road will still be there in the morning. Come then. <coughs> I hope you will forgive the pageantry, a custom we developed in Avernus. The sky there is utterly black. We took to filling it with stars of our own to think of better nights in brighter places. Are there like fireworks supposed to be going off or something? Telling you, this doesn't sound like a party. Hello, Boomjaw. Wow. Nights such as this one, with a light for every life you've saved. It's very pretty. Oh, ah, uh, yes. Volo also wished to show his appreciation. Just imagine he's he's singing this song. A in band of strangers. Glow oh. of victory's light, like stones in Shah's black skirt of night, cast shrines to which we all might pray. Our terror has been chased away. Say you've wept and begged and fled. A viper's nest's your only bed. You dream of when your babes might say. Our terror has been chased away. A band of strangers, strange and banded, arms to arms and sword in handed, did neither trust nor peace betray. Our terror has been chased away. This band, these strangers, stood and fought. And with their blood, our futures bought, that we might live to see bright day. Our terror has been chased away. Our terror, yes, our pain and longing, God replaced with sweet belonging. And now a path by God's away, our terror has been chased away. What secret in a hero's heart Unlocks great valor's stellar start, a gift that gives us leave to say, our terror has been chased away. 
We raise our glasses, hearts and souls, our very lives to those we owe. For though they could have left the fray, their honor was not chased away. I'm glad we're seeing this in this state because I'm really curious to see what this is going to be like when the game is released. I'm envisioning they're probably going to be doing at least like multiple camera angles, zooming in and out, showing the party going on in the background as he's doing his thing or something. Wait, what? Halston's here? And he just said he deserved to be banished? That's what he says to, to the tank of the lady. She's not even here. Also, are you enjoying the party, Mr. Skeleton Man? How do you like it? Fate spins along as it should. It's a lovely Although chin. Although thou dost not seem to be in need of my services. Nah, man. I just want to see if you want to party. Alright. So did we just have these typhlings, two Nothing things with us? Guzzling poison like with the right to be happy. You should join them. Have a point. I'm charismatic. Oh, damn. Okay. Didn't take much convincing. I was like, listen, you should go join. And he just walks off. I'm like, oh, no, no, mm. right. Perhaps it'll make the evening more tolerable. More cowbell. Need more cowbell. Think of it. No more caves. No more tents. No more running away. We'll be in a city with roads and markets and homes. Okay. See, so yeah, I, I guess this is probably the transition to us getting into Baldur's Gate. No. No, I need to lie down. Okay. Shari! That's infernal for cheers. You don't even have a cup. Possibly turn it. You didn't you didn't have a cup. It's an imaginary to? cup. Uh -huh. There you are. Come now, settle in. I do hope you've partaken of something bracing. This may well take us all night. And by this you mean Why? Your naming, quite obviously. That ballad was a crude preview. A frame without its crowning jewel. Your nom de guerre. It was something iconic, but not too much of a mouthful. We don't want to exclude the common folk, after all. I intend this tale to enrapture all. You have something in mind? Far too much. That is the very problem. If you could set aside your many triumphs, carry out one defining act. Not to belittle your achievements to date, of course, but besting a dragon, a giant, a god, perhaps? Hmm? I must deliberate. Go, enjoy your evening. I shall have work for you in the days to come. Uh, yeah, Baldur's Gate, well... I mean, it, it was slightly wrecked by the Mind Flare attack, but it was still just one ship cruising over the city in, like, one pass. Like, I think it wrecked a couple towers, some people were taken, but it wasn't, you know, like a full ransacking or anything. You know, I never pictured myself as a hero. Never thought I'd be the one they'd toast for saving so many lives. And now that I'm here... I hate it. This is awful. <laughs> My party sucks. Uh, it's not that bad. True. That was fun. Still, I would have liked more for my trouble than a pat on the head and vinegar for wine. Your whingin. Take his bottle and try the wine. 
It's a heavy, rich red. Dry and sharp. See what I mean? Awful. All I want is a little fun. Is that so much to ask? Mm hmm. No, I don't want to spend quality time. By what is that? What is... Sex, my dear. A night of passion. Let's wait until things quieten down. Once the others are asleep. No. Find each other. I have never flirted with you. He is being very forceful. Ah, no. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, 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 yes. Uh, Alright, sure. Why not? Indeed you will, my love. Indeed you will. Let's go see some tea posing sex as <laughs> they weirdly happened. animate on each other. Hope you're enjoying the night, hero. I certainly am. Cheers to many more like this. Yep, cheers. This might be the wine talking, but I'm feeling inspired. There's no wine! Thinking of writing my next song about you. These are like when teenagers drink non-alcoholic beverages case, and they're like, man, I'm so fucked up. And I'm like, there's no alcohol in it. Like, <laughs> yeah, you. Like, you're literally just drinking like apple juice. <laughs> uh, have you seen this body? It would be a crime not to sing about it. Sure. One raunchy ballad coming up. Raunchy ballad before some some vampire sex. What does Gail have to say? Thank you. What for? I'm glad you sought me out. Amidst all this merriment, I wasn't sure we'd have a chance to speak this evening. More's the pity you've already found someone else to make merry with. Just the two of you. He has a certain charm about him, Astarian. Then again, so does a tiger when it purrs. Far be it from me, of course, to question your tastes. Are you jealous? Jealousy is in the eye of the beholder, or something along those lines. The wine might be befuddling me a smidge. As they say in Waterdeep, in wine there is truth. That's usually followed by, in water there is good sense. Good sense? We'll have to wait till tomorrow. But before you go, I know there are many things about me that remain shrouded in mystery. You've been very it's probably because I haven't had you I in the party. That. You know of my condition and its challenges. But those about the broad strokes. The time has come to paint you the true picture. Uh, yeah, because why not, Supreme Mech? Also, I don't necessarily think... Uh, I'm pretty sure that these characters are, would probably flirt with us even if we were um, a woman. My guess is that they're probably all bisexual. Mm. I can I'm only curious. Hope my tale will live up to your expectations. Tonight, of course, we celebrate. I won't keep you any longer. Tomorrow night, though, you're in for quite the bedtime story. How about okay. two tiefling queens? Frightful. I have seen the Kithraki tear a screaming Neogi's legs from its belly to fashion into blades. Yet, they could not match your nerve today. It was enough to drive me to madness. A pity for us, you have promised your body to Astarian. What I hope for your sake, he doesn't come too near your neck. Wow. Okay, so is everyone just wanting to get with the player? <laughs> She's just like, I cannot believe you chose him over me. I'm just sitting like, I... Okay. Listen, we can all just join the same tent, I guess. I don't know, like... Sure. Perhaps not. I will take this is kind of weird. Wish, and from whom I wish. One day, fortune may favor you. All on the same night, all these characters are just super horny for me. I get it, like, I'm the player character, I'm the protagonist, everyone. This is my harem now, I guess. I didn't know I was building a harem. 
But apparently I'm building a harem. Does the skeleton guy want to get in on this? You want to... You want to get in on this, on this fun? Who do I... Oh, I didn't speak to the priestess. Is she going to yell at me about having sex with the vampire? Everyone seems to be in high spirits. I saw you with the Starian. You two looked... Cozy. Far be it from me to judge. Blood must still be running a little hot after everything. Strange. You want an invite? You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for. I don't know. Two things. Oh. Never gave you all much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. Yet you we all. Came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. Something like that. I was taught to reject anything that distracted from Shah. But there'll be time for penance later. I'd rather enjoy this wine on my own, so... Find your entertainment elsewhere? Oh, you know what, though? I, I wonder if it's just because... Our approval rating with all of them is, is high enough? And maybe our approval rating with her is not high enough. That's why she's not like, well, I wanted to be in your sex tent. What are you going to do in the city? Maybe that's what it is. Well, so if you have a high enough approval rating, we build a harem, I guess. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You want the spear? Listen, I got a spear. Y'all want it? I buried my daughter because of you. I'm Here we go. Going nowhere. Your daughter roused the nest. Did you expect the viper not to strike? I will bear no more accusations. Leave me. Tell me, how's the wine? The wine? Uh. What did you? Uh. Uh. <laughs> I want you to feel small. What? Where's she going? <laughs> you to feel helpless. <laughs> Just like oh. her. Her name was Arabella. Picture her. How scared she was. Oh, this will hurt. What poison was that? <laughs> Pretty good. This is, this is pretty good early access. Okay, hold on. Okay, I didn't. I don't even know what she was saying. What would, her name was Arabella. Picture how scared she was. I know this will hurt. I'll um. I'll quietly watch. I'm sorry. Come on, look. We're done. Damn, cold. No, but the snake is dead. That's all that matters. Whenever the wearer is healed, its weapon drips with poison and deals additional poison damage. Oh, wow, neat weapon. She had a key on her. Scimitar dagger. I'm curious. Ah, oh, we can't revivify her. That would have been pretty funny. Oh, man. Oh, hey, what up, dude? Fate spins along as it should. Although thou dost not seem to be in need of my services. Yeah, but the viper is. Let me tell you. She had a rough night. She slithered away and then came back. Uh, you two fought no one denied them. There's no you one she looked up to, to more. Banished. You still say you deserve She's not here, man. So much blood and death. 
If we ever meet again, I hope it's under better circumstances. I did what I had to do, and I won't hear a word about it from you or anyone else. Nope. No, I'm, I'm cool with it, man. Go on now. Don't waste a night like this talking to me. We'll discuss your problem tomorrow. Maybe you should drink some water. But... Okay, let's have... Let's have raunchy vampire sex. I... All right. The buzz of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. Met the hobgoblin yet? Propose, I've killed a hobgoblin. Alone. With whom will you share a bed? Well, I guess. Your heart skips a beat. What treasures might this night bestow? There you are. I've been waiting. Waiting since the moment I set eyes on you. Is he going to kill me now? Waiting. To have you. Hmm. Go into His skin it. Skin is cool to the touch. <laughs> His kiss bracing. You lean in and he pulls you closer. You know, there's nothing that gets me going like a shadowy illithid face just staring at me <laughs> while we're trying to do uh, some sexy vampire times. <laughs> it's just looking into my soul. <clears throat> Man, <sighs> I feel like there should be a, a text in here. It says like "go to horny jail" or something. Like, um, so he's trying to bite me. Sure. Okay. Apparently, he has scars on his body. Uh, where'd you get them? It's a poem. You want to know how I got a gift it? from my old master, Casador. Wait, we're fully clothed now. Quite the artist, and used his slaves as a canvas. He composed and carved that one over the course of a night. He made a lot of revisions as he went. Oh, okay, okay. I think we're back into the sexy parts. He wrote a poem. You've Can seen see? enough already. And if I can't Have see I? it, you certainly can't. I'm just curious what it says. No, I'm not. Whatever the bastard wrote. It won't change what he did to me. Now let's go. Before I regret my restraint last night. <laughs> I trust you celebrated most heartily. I think I did. I wonder if the tadpole shares in your suffering the morning after. Hmm. Speaking of tadpoles... I did. And it's high time we talked about your problem. There's some cause for hope, but it's... complicated. Complicated. Some form of continue. magic is arresting the ceramorphosis process while still granting you certain benefits. Your ability to read each other's thoughts, for instance. There's magic behind this. It's a form that's new to me. Magic such as this doesn't arise naturally. Someone is pulling the strings. Someone of great power. If you wish to cure your infection, you must find them. These absolute wretches are rallied at Moonrise Towers, farther along the Chionthar. Whoever is behind this magic must be there. You must go there. The journey will be perilous, but it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. Hmm. That's it? Just go to this place? What were you expecting? That I'd mumble a spell or whip out a potion? I won't be held accountable just because you're naive enough to expect easy answers. Now, allow me to continue. To get to the Dude, towers, you need there. to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. 
This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, tormented, dangerous souls. The frick? Okay, what do you suggest? Overland, along the risen road or cutting through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the shadow curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel leading from the Temple of Saluna right down into the Underdark and beyond. The mm. entrance is hidden somewhere in the temple ruins. Aradin and his lot thought they'd find fortune down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thor managed to rally a whole army of Dark Justices in a secret stronghold deep in the Underdark. Dark Justicias? I must see for myself. From there, his forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers in secret. But Ketherick was defeated before he could launch an attack from the Underdark. Ketherick took his secrets with him to the grave. You'd need a veritable underground city to conceal the force he mustered. Yet none has ever been found. If you find it, I'll wager it'll reveal a route all the way to Moonrise Towers, bypassing the worst of the Shadow Curse. Well, I mean, the Underdark is my home, so... Yeah. Anything is preferable to risking the Shadow Curse. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. Unfinished business. It seems our fates have aligned. Why do you want to go to Moonrise? Shadow Curse. It's an affront to nature and must be cleansed. I helped overthrow Ketherick Thorm and his Dark Justicias years ago, but I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region. Before he was defeated, I spent years researching the curse, trying to put an end to it. Nothing has worked. Yet, if I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse. Same as you may find a cure for your infection. Hmm. Well, we actually know how to get to the Underdark already. Hmm. Is that why you went with Aridin? You thought he might uncover the roots of Moonrise? Precisely. Then perhaps I could have done something about both the Shadow Curse and Ceramorphosis aberrations. But in my eagerness, I put far too much faith in the abilities of Aridin and his band. We didn't even get close. What about the I've Grove? I've chosen a successor as first druid, Francesca of the High Forest. A bird's already been dispatched to summon her. <laughs> Precisely. Who? Who indeed? You do not know, and neither do any of the others. The Grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Oak Father's teachings without bias. This okay. is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the Grove in my absence. Ask about Keg. Kaga to avoid suspicion? Yeah, hey, you know, I saw Kaga alive and well earlier tonight. Uh, how's she doing? How, how is she? I didn't use the vents. What? Contrary to how some think of us, we druids can play politics when necessary. Now, we've quite the journey ahead. Best get started. I advise you start in the Temple of Saluna. If you find the Dark Justicia's hidden entrance, it could lead you all the way to Moonrise. Hmm. Resentment will spring up like mushrooms no matter what I do. You cannot please everyone, and you'd be a fool to try. Now, we've quite the journey ahead. Best get started. What was that green glow?
Typhling scout named Zoru told us he encountered a Thank patrol to the northwest. They might be able to lead us out to the crash. Why we haven't even done that yet, have we? And then reach the moonrise. I'm assuming we can't do the moonrise towers in this, right? Can we still go that far? Is this gonna be that long? Worship the goddess Char. Shadow expands some kind of strange magical flare up. Recruited half elf. Okay. I mean, we'll, we'll keep going. Uh, just give me a moment and I will be right back. I'm back. Sorry about that. I got distracted with the cat. So, let's go find this Githy Yankee patrol. Northwest. So it must be up here, right? Wait a minute, wasn't this bridge we couldn't get past? Right? Also, is there anything further to the east? Druze Grove, that's a dead end up there. Hmm. Well, let's let's start by going over here. So we want to go to Blighted Village. Things prove fragile. I have a mind to end their misery myself. Jeez. Calm yourself. They're survivors, not soldiers. I fail to see the distinction. Yeah, like we left here. That's probably where the patrol is, but we got this bridge that's out. So then how the heck do we get down there? Ugh. 
Because, I mean, we can jump over. But not the entire party can. Of I think last time I tried to jump this, I couldn't actually make it. Well, no, never mind. Okay, looks like we can make make it. Okay. The Risen Road. It's been a long road. The false life going. Summon the imp. Okay. Quick save. Because we're going into some bloody territory here. Hyenas. Watermelons. Something tore right through these people. They didn't stand a chance. Is that a level... F Wait, that's five hit points? I don't know. Ah! Knowles. Put on the animal friendship thing? We can try that. Thirty five percent. The beast reeks of brimstone and awful. Every breath is thick with blood. You hear what comes next before you see it. The sharp snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. What's a knoll? These are knolls. They're basically like hyena humanoids. Typically an evil race. Bones snap. As the hyena is hollowed from the inside out. What? Like a vessel for something new. What? Is happening to this hyena? Bones snap as the hyena is hollowed from the inside out. Forming a vessel for something new. Also, the charm. Her belly splits like a rotten fruit, birthing a frenzy of claws and fangs. What the? Wait a minute. Knolls are birthed from hyenas? I did not know that. Now I know. I guess. But, yeah, I did not know that. Okay, we must kill. Action surge. Those are freakish abominations, originally born from hyenas that mutated by scavenging from the kills. They don't even breed on their own in this edition, instead spawning from within flesh-gorged hyenas that accompany their packs. Ah! Oh!
Ugh. That's disgusting. Why? Not to see it again, that's for sure. Ugh. This place reeks of blood. Let's go. Before more join us. A fire wine barrel. Hmm. I have a pl they're adorable? Nico. Listen, man. What? No, I will not give these Knowles pats. They are disgusting. What are you talking about? Is it going to be multiplayer? There technically is multiplayer uh, in this early access right now. I thought that was gonna blow up. It is flammable though, so we're still okay. Okay, we're still alright. We're still right here. We're still right here. Um Yeah, we're still fine. A little bit of the scorching ray. Ben, you knows Ben. Mr. Vampire. So open that would kill. And then we won't forget about the imp this time. You meant in the full game? Um well, I mean, if they have, like, multiplayer right now, then I would imagine it's in the full game. <gasps> well, that's fine. Alright, surprise round is over. Now it's you. Mm, yep, let's charge in. With the halberd. They are surprised. They are burning. Action surge. Nuts. Oh, well, the fire damage was enough. Okay. Feast on its flesh. 
Oops. Dual wield. There it is. Yep, there it is. <laughs> I don't know if it's dead. Okay, I think it's dead now. And when it's rigor mortis, pretty quickly. All right, well, you found Knowles. And Knoll tracks that lead up that way. Let's explore this road first. Or maybe this part of the road? There's a thingy up here. Also, let's quick save. There's more loot by the ambush wagon. Well, I mean, it's a crate. I've hardly ever found anything cool in crates. We'll be back down there anyway, but let's go up here. Oh, this must be the inn that they raided? Ah. Welcome to Wakim's Rest. West, Baldur's Gate. East, Elturel. Hmm. Not much of a rest right now. Hello, Elder Dice. This is an awesome stream. You've uncovered heaps of content not seen before. Really? Smoke. Something's burning. Well, thanks for stopping by. Glad you're enjoying it. Are you friendly enemy? And so is it done. The flaming fist. I remember the goblins and they fought the flaming fist. Grant me the might to carry this burden. Grant me the faith to face darkness without fear. Yeah, probably sounds like something we would say. Only a coward would speak ill of the fallen. Would that the arrow had pierced your heart instead. Hey now. I didn't kill him. A massacre. Drow and goblins slaughtered the lot. Oh, that's right, there were drow involved in this. Me be. But it wasn't me. Also, I think I killed the person maybe probably responsible for this. I hear shouting. Someone needs help. I think I can rob my kin, that's fair. Drowish studded leather armor. Hmm. Excellent armor. A drow craft, of course. Of course. Only the best. Not much magic left though. Sun's too bright. So the thing is, this armor is better than what he's wearing right now, and also doesn't give him disadvantage on stealth rolls. We'll give you this drow armor. Congratulations. Wear it well. Also, here's some poison. I have a lot of keys. Oh, right. Right, whenever they're healed, their weapon drips with poison. Oh, yeah, but then we have this one. Hmm... Which one am I wearing? Oh yeah, the Misty Step. That's fine. I'd rather have this other one. And then you can equip that, and then speak with the dead. We'll just leave in their inventory in case we need it. Okay. Look at that fancy drow leather armor. Super fancy. Dead goblin. Well, it looks like they... The goblins didn't get out of here, like, unscathed. The way the goblins told it, it was like they came in and just massacred it. Ooh. That's a mercenary. They massacred everybody. This is hopeless. I'm sorry, do you need help? The Grand Duke could be inside. 
Don't just stand there! Push! Grand Duke, you say? Grand Duke Ravenguard of Baldur's Gate! He could be trapped! Help us get through! Well, a Grand Duke would probably be in a position to reward us. I'm not much of a strong person, though. You want to speak to my friend. The Grand Duke could be inside! Don't just stand there! Push! Target of a six. We can do this. I mean, she's the strongest of us, so... I don't know, I think that's it. I think they're dead. They're 100% dead. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. She'll get in there. Rescue the Grand Duke. Did you even try it? Use jump to reach? Broken door? The door's already broken, I gotta break it some more? Oh yeah, right, we're still using... Hold on. Put the halberd on. So we don't freaking kill ourselves. Can anyone hear me? Use jump to reach? Okay. strength. Alright, all we gotta do is roll six. Dumb! Just go. I'm done for. Oh god, the fire is spreading. Um, uh, no, hide's not gonna help. Go, 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 go. Oh, he's, he is dead. Oh my god, he is dead. Alright, don't open that door then. There's a chest in there, though. That wasn't, like, the guy, was it? Was that the guy? That was probably- I guess that was the guy. He's the only guy in here, isn't he? Rescue the trapped man. I think he's dead. They're trapped inside. Oh, they're in there? Get in there! Counselor Fork! Fresh air. At last. Your boldness is a blessing. Hi. In your debt. Listen close. Hello? What? Drow have taken Grand Duke Alder Ravenguard. Westward, if my eyes and ears may be believed. I must report to the Flaming Fist Manip with haste. And you. 
I must ask again for your aid. Me? Please. The floorboard? Rescue Ravenguard from his drow captors. The council will reward you for your effort. May I trust you'll see it through? I didn't even answer. Come. I'm afraid proper thanks must wait. Okay. <laughs> hey everybody, can you can you give me a hand? No, okay. Teach us care when we would be reckless. Jesus. Don't go in there. So it is spoken, and so is it done. She's fine. What's over here? Can't go inside. Okay. Wait, are they just gone? Allow us peace in this plane and beyond. Teach us care when we will be reckless. Was that it? Hey, look, can you go rescue this Grand Duke? All right, bye. Farewell. Oh, only I went through? Okay. Stolen property reward offered. In an act of craven vandalism that has not been diminished by the intervening years, the statue of the beloved ranger was callously torn from the central marketplace in Baldur's Gate and is still yet to be found. Though it has been some time since the replica was erected in its place, the collective of concerned citizens of the wide remains convinced that the original statue is still out there somewhere and is willing to bestow a hefty sum upon whomever might assist with its retrieval. We urge the thieves in question to consider. This art piece was commissioned not to offend, but to inspire. Indeed, the bold adventurer depicted is no real person, living or dead, but a metaphor for the city itself, standing solid and stern upon his foundations, gazing outward, but still clutching tight to his heart. Find the hope in your heart and return the blighted or return to a blighted city as beloved ranger. Raise a hand and help, and we shall fill it with gold. I wonder, is this like a Is this a reference to cause you know, like, there's been some statue tearing downs in the world lately. I wonder if that's just like a reference to that. We can make it. Yeah. Oh, I'm on fire. Pray God help. Allow us peace in this place. But yeah, it seems like that party is just gone. It just did. Go find this Grand Duke. I'm a, I'm a see you later. Bye. So they want me to go, what was it, west? I guess we we can, but I kind of want to... Mm. Nah, let's go west. Actually, let's camp and then go west. Uh, actually, well, short rest, short rest is fine. Short rest is fine. Let me also just double check the journal to make sure we're going the right way. We need to find the Grand Duke and fast. Okay, well, west we shall go. Towards this... Get oh, the thank you patrol is right over here. Okay. Well, we can handle that too. A dragon rider, my kin near. Oh shit, we all became... afeared. The size of that thing... looks so much bigger when it's flying above you. Blasted worm. Where did it come from? Oh, that's cool, Nico. 
Is that what you did? You're like, oh shit, the whole place is burned down. A water pump. Hello? What are you doing? Hold up before they see you, Margresham. Hmm? Um. Whatever you just called me, I didn't like the sound of it. Watch your tongue. More important things to watch than my harassing tongue. Look. That lot are swarming all over the bridge. I don't know what they want, but it can't be good. I'm going to find another way around. You ought to do the same. Unless you're looking for a fight, that is. Who Nobody. are you? Just another harassing fool trying to stay alive. There's plenty of us around. <laughs> Maybe you should join me instead. What? Just follow you around. Yeah, I'll why not? My own way. Alone. Aww. Aww. But we have halberds. Hi. That would have been kind of weird for her to join us, I think. Strangers just meeting up. Especially this pack of strangers. I have a flying imp who pretends that they're a mime who can't move. We have the shadow cleric, a gith yankee with a meaning looking halberd. A va obvious vampire in draw clothes. And oh yeah, I'm a drow. Can't say I blame her. I would take one look at this party and also say, mm, I'm good. I'm good. Drop your weapons! I'll feed your innards to the ants before I do that, Istic. This is your last chance! Is that the sound of a dragon? I'm guessing it's the sound of a dragon. Oh, hey, look, there be a drown. Look at that's not how bodies move. No, look up. That was your last chance, Istic. Now burn. Oh, wow. Just going straight forward, huh? Effects. Stop wasting time, Beretta. You're not here to play with the locals. Of course, Kevin. <laughs> we merely sought to. No excuses. Question, kill, then move on. Find the weapon. Our queen watches us. Fail her at your peril. A red dragon. I envy its knight. Would that I rode such a steed. A crash must be near. Come, my kin await. I really don't know if I want to meet them. And we'll just pat the dragon on the head, I suppose. The dragon serve, Gith Yankee. I'll see it does you no harm. Follow me. We are close to the cure we seek. Man, I don't know, dude. I still got my doubts. But okay. Yeah, 100% trust. Yeah, I don't. Ryder, my time is short. Lead me to... Shh, shh, shh. Such a familiar tone. Were I not merciful, I would slice the skin clean from your meat. Yet you are not Wow. Bad, for I am nothing if not merciful. Your name, <laughs> child. <laughs> Damn. I you know that's probably how the drow would react too, right? Means me and the geth are closer than what we think. Go ahead. So you started this. Proud. Regal, even. A geek vessel has fallen from the sky, Lazel. Thieves aboard have taken a weapon most precious. It is polyhedric in shape and inscripted with the sacred runes of our people. Take uh. me to your crash. You are to join our search. Speak up, child. Affirm your mandate. Uh, welcome back, Majestic. Hello, NVIDIA. 
I think they talk about the thing that our priestess has. No, no, I don't think we say that with a dragon right there. That's, that's death. Mm, play along. All I gotta do is roll a six. Never have I failed a roll of six in the past half hour. Okay. You honor me with this duty, Kithrak. I shall alert my caretaker with haste. The Kithrak nods, content with Lazel's answer. You serve your queen well, child. Take your slaves and hunt those who escaped the Gake ship. They must carry the weapon. Blacketh will see your faith rewarded in this plane and ours. To Danos! To the sky! Your slaves? I guess we're her slaves. Shkaketh, I have followed protocol. He does not speak for Blacketh. We carry the weapon he seeks. It must be powerful for a Kithrak to betray his own queen's children. Betray? Lies. I have devoted my life to my queen. I will be her chosen. It is my due. Search the bodies. We might find a way to the crash. And beware the skies. We are watched. Oh man, loving this uh, Gith Yankee party we're having. I rolled a three on a door thing. What? What? No, I didn't. Never happened. Ouch. Okay. Well, maybe we're supposed to go down this road? She just said search the bodies, right? Hmm, didn't update our journal though. And I searched the bodies. There's nothing there. Grim looking horizon. Wonder what's out there. Ah! And that is the way off the map, so not that way. Wait, what? Is there supposed to be a door here? Why why are we walking up here? What? I have a feeling that there's supposed to be a gate here or something. Cuz instead of walking underneath, we just walked around. Well, crap. That really didn't do much for us. And that just leads back to Walking's Rest. We have a thingy right here. Oh, that's just a way into the burning inn. Oh, the fast travel point. Okay. Uh, okay. Can we go over here? I don't think so. Maybe we can't really do anything else with the Gith Yankee stuff in the early access? Because like, there doesn't seem to be anything else over there. Is this a way down? Ooh, that's a way down, all right. So I guess we... Wait, isn't that also where the Duke was? In the west? So I guess we can't do anything with the Duke either. So we just go back to the null stuff. At least it's what it seems like. Yeah, because like that's the corner of the map. And so the only way forward would be through there. And we can't.
I don't think we can search for the dude, because I think she said it's off to the west. And west of, of Marine's, or Joaquin's rest is this, which we can't go past. Oh, well, this doesn't sound good. I don't like this at all. Dead Noel. Bloodthirst? Noel Hunt? What is going on here? What the frick? Hmm. This is fine. We can leave him over here, and then the rest of the crew... Also, you. You need to hide. We'll come around this way. I do not know what's happening over there. But someone's having a fun time. Seems like a good spot to come in on. Get some of that high ground. Okay. Imp, gosh darn it. Come on. All right, hide. But we don't stand a chance. Ah, that's what's going on. There are people in there. Hello. Okay. So we are all here. We will start with her. Jatsum! You're dead. I would like to sneak up on this and just do a full round of sneak attacks. We'll move you up a little bit. We're going to... Join comp- oh my goodness. <laughs> ah! Someone kill the snow! Wow, our imp does level up. That's kind of wild. Man, I kind of just want to jump in the middle of all of those. Yes. 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 Ah! Ah! Who wants some? This kid Yankee is ready! Be that! Someone's fighting the nose! We should help! Don't be a fool, lad. Shut your mouth and keep your head down. Leave the heroics to them that don't value their own skin. Cowards. With a shock of psychic pain, the pack leader's mind clamps what is... onto yours. You see yourself through her eyes, a pulsing red cluster of organs. Feast. No. The voice has forbidden this meat. 
Knolls see your whole world as a meal. This voice is acting as a leash, but it won't hold them for long. What is... A memory. The beast daubs the symbol of the Absolute on a cave wall in blood. Buried deep, a tadpole struggles to assert control against the ravenous chaos of her mind. Mm hmm. Command her to devour the other gnolls. That sounds cool. Ha! Huh? Can't fail this! Sensing your presence, the gnoll's tadpole writhes in ecstasy, echoing your command. It's yes. how feast on gnoll flesh to control the hunger, to keep her teeth from your throat. <laughs> yes! Kill your friends! Excellent, Flind Knoll Warlord. Excellent. Feast on his flesh. Why are the hyenas running in? I need them to look away so we can do stabby stabbies. Hmm. We're gonna need to wait another turn here with you. Very good. Action surge. Woo! I think we're within range to aggro or like to threaten. Yeah, okay, so they're threatened now. Okay, good. We'll stay there. And then you are going to go for this Knoll Hunter here. Saved against the poison. That's unfortunate, but it's fine. I like the weapon. Wait, am I not? I am in this combat, right? I'm pretty sure I am. <sighs> this damn hyena looking at me. You know what? Let's just go for it. Maybe we'll make a successful high check. Ah! <laughs> damn it. Oh, well. The acid by itself is fine. It lowers the armor class a little bit, but that's okay. Damn. Okay, well there's not much left to do here. Do it again. She is still ravenous, her mind a hungry pit. The flesh of her pack wasn't enough to satisfy her. Commanding her to feast on herself. Oh my god. Her tadpole responds, thrashing violently, and the fragile tissue of her brain tears and splits. You taste the blood in her throat, feel it pooling in the cavity of her skull. But 
she still resists. Wow. Harness your willpower to order her to devour herself. And you can't fail it! Because that's, I guess she's, like, that's just what gnolls are like. Your tadpole wriggles, contented, as she tears out her own throat. Jesus. Holy. We are not good people. You're a sweet sight. Rip out your throats. You still alive out there? You think I might be a bad guy? <laughs> well, to be fair, though, it's a knoll. Okay? Knolls are not good creatures. They are terrible, terrible creatures. Um, it's a grim sight. This whole journey's been one grim sight after another. Knolls, goblins, drow. Risen Road's more dangerous than ever. You're the first friendly face we've seen since Eltergard. I'll stay friendly as so long as you hand over all your goods. <laughs> Did you think this was a rescue? Hold on now. You made short work of the beasts. And I reckon you'd make shorter of me and the boy. But we're not plump little merchants you can boss around. We're centering. Oh, I've already killed someone from this interim. Guarding a single chest, there curious. Are valuable goods on the move, the Black Company's always involved. We're the grease that keeps the wheels of commerce turning. And we don't take kindly to people who meddle in our business. Listen, this is the point where I stop asking. And start cutting. Did you see what I did to that knoll? I made that knoll rip its own throat out. And you're trying to resist me? Are you mad? If I was this person and I watched what to him would it be the knoll staring at me and me staring at the knoll. And then the knoll, instead of attacking me, rips her own throat out. I would not be like, you best be careful with who you're messing with. I'm part of this entire... No, I'd be like, dude, take the chest. Here's my shirt. Fuck, here's my bow. You want my hair? I'll cut my hair off. Listen, it's all yours. I don't even want any part of what's what you are. Ah, right, I made it. Fine. No need for more violence. I'll tell my associates everything was lost in the ambush. The chest's all yours. Damn things sealed tighter than a duke's purse strings. So there's no point in trying to open it. And no hard feelings, you hear? I'd have done the same if I were you. Business at the end of a blade is still business. Ruthless bastard like you could make a name for yourself in the Zentarim. Make sure to drop by our hideout. Passphrase at the door is, Little Serpent's Long Shadow. I'll tell my associates to expect you. Look at that, we made a friend. What a day. But for real though, that was pretty fucked up what we did to the knoll. <laughs> that was like some brutal, straight evil shit we just did to that knoll. And you know we just stared as like they just slowly ripped their own freaking throat out and we just like smiled. A shattered flail. You convince it to devour itself. Yeah, it's we're pretty evil. 1d6 plus 2 bludgeoning. Oh, it's a plus 2 enhancement? Dealing damage with this weapon heals the wielder for 1d6 hit points and instills them with insatiable hunger. They can go mad if they do not deal damage each turn. I'm sad we didn't get a no party member. Well, yeah, but we made the null devour themselves. That was cool. So, their own weapon was driving them mad. On top of them being a knoll. Okay, the bodies. Are, oh, no, no. This game is pretty cool. I like that it's not afraid to go, like, kind of dark. 
like pretty pretty freaking dark I can appreciate a game that well is willing we to go places chest. why haven't you opened it yet what if it's trapped or full of trash it's safe it's to sell it gamble, but all right I just hope you're not trading jewels for peanuts Do I have- is the chest in my inventory? I thought I haven't even grabbed it yet. Do we want to use this? It is still a plus two weapon. And the vampire can use it. They already have a hunger. I don't know. I don't know. This seems kind of risky. Kinda dark? Kinda? Yeah, kinda dark. Look at that pretty dark. More dark than a lot of video games. I don't know if I want to use this. Like, the, the, the fact that they can go mad is scary. I don't know. That's scary. What's a little madness between friends? Ah... The strong box? Wow, it actually worked. It's a lucky day after all. I don't feel like uh, a flask that can hold friends and foes? Likely to make a f the former the latter? That's lucky. Wait a minute, is this a flask that holds souls? May want to pass this to Gale. The Wizard of Waterdeep. Oh, it's a Gale item? Well, what? Hold on, what? That can hold friends and foes. Yeah, this flask holds souls, dude. Decorated with a grinning face. This cold what? iron flask is sealed with a brass stopper. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I need to give that to me. I'm the Arcana person here. Select me. The flask is cold and heavy in your hand. Haha! -ha! Disguised among the decorative elements, you notice a familiar... This is a powerful magical item, capable of trapping and holding... It's a, a Pokeball! Suggests ...it is inhabited. Hmm. Well, it's our lucky day after all. Hmm. What does the journal say about this? The rest of our crews is there a Charizard in there? You're still alive. That's lucky. After freeing Benrin, we told him to find his own way out. We found a man trapped under a beam in Joaquin's rest. After freeing Benrin, we told him to find his way out. We didn't free him! <laughs> he died! What? What? Where is... It's our lucky day after all. I don't feel lucky. The the quest for the the caster is in here. Is it? That's lucky. I don't see anything for him. It said I thought it said something about Gale, right? Huh. Open the flask? I mean I'm curious. Let's quick save it. Why not? We'll open it right here. What could go wrong? This is early access anyway. The flask is cold and heavy in your hand. Ah! Uh! 
Not a full-on beholder. Just a spectator. That looks pretty cool. Kind of shocking. Just a spectator. At least it's not a full beholder. If this was a full blown on beholder, that'd be very, very scary. Like, this is still pretty scary. But not as scary. It's like, going back to the Pokemon, it's it's like we're fighting a Charmander instead of a Charizard. Or a Charmeleon. No, Charizard. It's not a beholder, kitty. It's, it's a spectator. It's not, it's not on the same level. It's just well on its way. We're gonna be fine. Um, I'm gonna pull you back and we're gonna... We're gonna bless. And then I'm gonna jump. Okay, okay, okay. And then I can't hex, unfortunately. You may want to separate. I don't know what kind of stuff this is going to be throwing out. In fact, hold on. Let me examine this thing. Yep, that is an aberration. 14 armor class. It is threatened. Its stats are relatively good. Okay. Look at that thing. It's a cool thing. Does that have the eye effects? It does! It's the eye of Sauron! Uh, the wisdom save? We have a good chance of it failing its- well, it's a 14, it's plus 2 on that save, but that's- it's- it's- it's fine. Wow, we got it frightened! See, I told you, we're totally fine. I am kind of curious though, if we release this, like in the middle of some kind of enemy boss fight, if it would aggro to everybody. You know? Dude, if we kill this thing with a freaking level 1 imp. <laughs> that would have been funny. Ooh. See? No worries. No worries. No worries. And now we can capture a new Pokemon. Those beasts tore through our best agents. Can't believe you took them down. Did you see us take down the scavenger? Thank the gods that's over. Might have been more survivors. I don't suppose you saw any of my crew alike, damn it. Resin Road's more oh, no. dangerous than ever. You're the first oh, no, we've... face we've seen since Elta. We're bound for we'll keep uh. listen. You should meet my son. Tell the fellow on It's fine. We'd be dead if they hadn't shown up. A little hospitality won't do any harm. I'm just gonna leave. Okay, don't talk to him again. Alright, so what's up here? We got some chests. Let's go up here. You wonder what Gale has to say about that flask? Nothing. This is a Gale-free run. Because since we're not using Gale at all, it gives me more of a reason to play through this again. So I'm specifically not doing that. It's also why I'm not really talking a lot with the character. Why? Well, maybe I should talk to some of the characters some more. Hold on. Shah's blessings upon you. Mm-hmm. Fine. What's on your mind? Oh, God. Thoughts about our little stowaways. Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. Personally, I think we should go to Moonrise Towers. From what Minthara said, that sounds like where we'll find answers. I'm not too hopeful that a Gith Kresh will actually prove our salvation, but worth keeping in mind. Hmm. How am I holding I'm not up? The kind of company I'd keep willingly, but all things considered, 
You'll That's do. fair. Mm. What will you do if we manage to remove? We go our separate ways, of course. What else? The ties that bind would be well and truly severed. Where would you go? You must know Baldur's Gate. And before you ask, no. I'm not telling you what I'm doing there, or who I'm meeting, or anything else. You're keeping something back. You pry too much. Any further, and you'll regret it. <laughs> Understand? She does not like us. Alright. Mm, what's that strange magic you just played before? I... I don't know. Something to do with the tadpole, who's to say? Another mystery to add to the pile. Hmm, seem different from the effects of the we tadpole. We don't know how this works, not really. Maybe it varies a little, person to person. Don't I worry. I sense deflection. It won't matter once we find a cure. And if we don't find one, well, we'll be past our worries then. Okay. That's a good conversation. Can't reach. Can we maybe make a way? There we go. <laughs> that might be worth a look. Okay. Apparently, this was trapped. Um. There we go. Okay. Unlock failed, and now we're out of lockpicks. Dang it. Why would you trap such a thing? Rude. Okay, so we can like jump out that way, that leads to the other cave entrance. Hey, remember when we made that uh, Noel devour herself? That was weird. Let's go. How do we get down there? I guess we have to go around this way? And then this leads back to the inn? Fun. Or does it? Hold on, no, 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 this is something else. Yeah, this is something else. Let's quick save it. Whatever killed those gnolls might be nearby. Careful. Okay. Well, I see a dwarf. I don't think they're going to be hostile. I think we're safe. Are you talking about me, Mac? I'm the player character. I'm supposed to steal shit. You won't get any further this way, friend. Road's blocked up ahead. Rockfall in the ravine. Perfect spot for an ambush. Are the dead nose your handiwork? I killed the biggest, ugliest one myself. My friends inside took care of the rest. Okay. Let's look at your friends inside. I'm curious to meet them. You're welcome to rest here. Anders Sword of Tear. At ease, friend. The knolls hit us hard, but this place is still safe. It's under Tyr's protection. Why is that so small? He's a dwarf. I don't know. I'll finish you off. No, no, no. Defeating a pack of knolls is no mean feat. Save your praise. The fight was a disaster. We lost two men to the knolls. 
they weren't even our target. In truth, we could use some help. Our mission is holy. We need to rest. I love holy missions. They pay so well. We're paladins of Tyr, sworn to protect those in need. He sent us here to hunt a devil. <laughs> like an imp? Kill the fiend for us, and we'll reward you well. Hmm. What she am I looking the for? Of a tiefling with a single horn, but she's an infernal being, straight out of the nine hells. Tiefling with a single horn. I'm trying to remember all the tieflings you talked to. And I think they all had dual horns. She slaughtered countless refugees. Yesterday, she butchered an entire family. The mother had been pregnant. Mm, pregante. Where's the spice? She saw the novels we fought last night. So she can't be far from here. Ah. This is the Sword of Justice. Blessed by Tear. I've wielded it since I swore my oath. It's all I have, but it's yours if you bring me her head. This monster must be stopped. A magical sword. That a paladin uses. Hmm. If you want to go poking around in the cellar, be my guest. Plug your nose first, though. Why? Corps, half right to mush. Must have been down there a ten day or more. What is it this place? It was a toll house. By the time we arrived, it was more like a slaughterhouse. There's more monsters than coin moving down this road. Have you seen any gold? There's a locked door down the hatch. Doesn't look like anyone's managed to get in. If there's any gold left, that's where it'll be. Okay. Well, I don't mind the smell of corpses. <sighs> that body's so ripe, I'd need to drink the blood with a fork. Ugh. Hmm. Most entries are neatly written, listing the travelers and amount of gold paid, but the text on the most recent page is smudged. Four merchants with single wagon of sundries, 25 gold. Flaming Fist Company, 15 fists and gauntlet. Fee waived. Fists don't pay tolls, they extort. <laughs> Brewer and two guards bringing kegs. Gold. Seven farmers, no goods, no gold. Wounded warned us to leave. Sent courier to request extra guards over leaf. Four farmers, too many to count, no goods, carrying their own dead. Road untenable. Preparing to abandon post. Surprised it doesn't have like a scroll like they are coming. I think we already used all of our lockpicks. Hmm. Well, good old fashioned smashery. Thank you. That key seemed to work. That's curious. That is very curious. I don't much like vents. Let's just let's just do that. Let's do that. Hmm. What's that? Okay. Uh, Imp, if you would be so kind as to move. Okay. Uh, not, not the whole... Here, let's we'll do this one. Can't reach. Oh, here we go. Okay. Now, why were these all here? I'm assuming some of these chests are trapped. Ooh. OK. 
Can't reach. Uh, not really. I was thinking it would be down here. Yeah, a ton of booze. Which, you know, fair. Hmm. That might be worth a look. Hmm, okay. I'm pretty sure these are all set up for traps, but like... There's... Hmm. There's gotta be something here that is going to like ignite these. Another one over here. Okay, cheeses, garlic, oh, light crossbow, studded shield. Must be something with his desk, maybe? Leadership of the Zentarum. Content appears to be following up on a previous material. Mm, meta attacks, rebound. Excommunicated from the Church of Denier. Deep. Okay. Pouch. I can't click on anything on the desk. is this place? It seems like they have all these traps set up, but there's nothing really to protect. Hold on. Aha! Open sets... me. <laughs> Secret tunnel! Something over there. I'm gonna need a bigger box. Uh, let's see, we're using that box. Let's go over here. Man, that's just, that just, that just keeps going, huh? Can we, can I? Why did that just trigger? hell is going on? Why it... It's so buggy! Oh, is this the plate? Oh, no, there's another one! Alright, so we got gold. Great sword, great axe. Potion of feeling. You know, I'll, I'll just take the poison damage. It's fine. He's undead, right? Like, should poison even work on him? Metallic gloves, helmets, a pleasurable deal, traveler's chest. Okay. Bronze necklace. And there's nothing on the desk. I clicked on that, didn't I? Alright. Well, we got a plus one weapon out of it. That will probably sell. It's just a basic great axe. None of us can use it except for our Githyanki friend. Alright. Well, let's get the hell out of here.
There is some cool stuff down there. You should go see. Don't sit on the, the chairs. Do you mind if I take this stuff? I mean, he's dead. Okay, I'm gonna take it. Trap disarm kit. What class are you that has an imp summon? Um, I am a warlock. With the fiend subclass. I believe. Okay, I think this place is not empty. Though there is an upstairs. Nah, I don't care that much. So from here we can go down. And then continue our way up here. Or not. I wonder if that's more like content in the future. Waypoint discovered. Accident or sabotage. I'm trying to see if there's something like above this. Why not take all the weapons and see to the traitor? I because I don't really care that much. Listen, this is an early access version. This isn't like a full game save. I have a lot of money already that I haven't spent. It's not it's not really that big of a deal. For me anyway. And that just leads back up to the knolls. That just leads back around the house. Okay. So maybe we go down here? Maybe that Tyfe thing is down this way? Or the fake Tyfling. Well, there is a Tyfling. It looks like she has two horns. Hold up! One more step and I'll put a bolt through your eye! Whoa! Whoa! No sudden movements or you're dead. Okay, two horns. You looking for me? No, because you have two horns. I have no you idea who you are. Stumble across me in the arse end of nowhere. Bullshit. Tell me what you're doing here. Now. I was warned you're dangerous. So am I. Is that? But she has two horns. The guy says she has one horn. This can't be. Alright, I was warned you're dangerous. So am I. If you bite as hard as you bark, we might just get along. I'm dangerous, all right, but I've got no quarrel with you. I reckon you've been sold a crock of <gasps> shit about me. Don't sweat it. The devils are tricky fuckers. They can't breathe without lying. The people I spoke to were paladins, not devils. Sure they were. And I'm Tiamat's left tit. I guess they told Are you I'd bite the heads off babies and paint myself in their blood. Truth's not quite so exciting. Come on over, and I'll tell you the whole story. Did those fake paladins lie to me? I take umbrage. I'm a fugitive. Escaped from the hells. And those bastards are trying to take me back. Hmm. I visited Avernus recently. Seemed delightful. Is funny. As she winces, mm. agony shoots through you. As if your bodies shared the <gasps> same wound. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies. As you tear through a landscape of fire and blood. The Blood War. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. Stark! What was that? You were inside my head. <sighs> hmm. 
Hmm. Hold up. You found the blood <laughs> No, no, we'll see the, we'll the, the parasites. Hold on a minute. You were on that ship. With the tentacles and the and the worms. I didn't think anyone else had survived. I didn't see you aboard. Where were you? I boarded in Avernus. That ship was my way out. Hmm. Pretty stupid. <laughs> Uh, let's gotta clear that crash out in a hurry. The place would have been crawling with cultists if I'd stuck around. And they'd have dragged us all back to Avernus. So what makes you so important to them? I was a prisoner. Forced to fight in the blood war. The eternal battle between bad and worse. Most souls in Avernus are just meat for the grinder, but not me. I held my own. More than... Turns out that I've got a knack for killing demons. <laughs> and I enjoy it. And that made me a valuable asset. Devils don't like to lose their assets. Hmm. Kind of hard to believe. Yeah, like a few cultists bring her down, but she kills devils? Or Back demons? In the blood war, my commander I mean... gave me what I needed to get the job done. I have fire running through my veins. I don't work for her anymore, so I'm back to relying on muscle and steel. I'll be just fine. So I'm gonna kill the people hunting yeah. you? Can you handle it? What would I do? What would do I get in return? You get a friend who spat in Baphomet's eye and lived to tell the tale. Hmm. I'm curious. Fuck yes. Oh. <laughs> Fuck yes, they indeed. They me in the toll house just up the hill. Doubt they've gone far after the beating I gave them. I come with you just to see them bleed, but I'm too busy bleeding myself. I'll be here. When Worst case scenario, she's lying. They really are paladins of tear, and I still don't care if I kill them. Because who cares about paladins of tear? <laughs> She sounds more interesting than they do. I wonder if they're automatically hostile. Probably not, right? So even worst case scenario is still fine with me. Hey buddy, how's it going? Um, I have a question. I wonder if you would be able to answer it for me. Uh, there we go. Get the first word in. Damn it. Okay. I'm gonna move her towards the door. Oh god, that bomb though. Killing these paladins. Maybe paladins. Maybe not. We don't know. One one there's something. Yes, the dark one's blessing. Yeah, they could be paladins or they could be demon cultists. Either way, it's it's gonna be fun. It's like uh, that Robin Hood Minute Tights thing. It's either going to be a wedding or a hanging all the way. It's going to be a fun time. Uh, she has seven hit points left right now? Take two. The 
Those might have been citizens. Eh, either way. There might have been only one or two paladins. Listen, it's fine. I don't think our team cares about citizens getting caught in the fray. Nuts. Ah, the misses. I'm embracing the dark side too easily. I am a drow, a loth worshipping drow. This guy is a vampire who hates parties because it's too good. She's a dark priestess of a dark god. This is a Githyanki who are evil, basically. We're the baddies! Yes! I am on the dark side! We're a fucking drow! I'm not a paladin! I summoned an imp for God's sake! I question that move, but I guess the door is actually open and not closed. Always have been, yeah. Wait, were we the baddies? Always have been. Nice. I'm drinking another potion. wounds on him. Be blessed. Hashtag blessed. Ah. You're still alive! Two more chances. Okay, so he took poison damage, but he's not like taking it every turn. Exactly, Knowledge. Paladins are just using alignment as an excuse to be murder hobos. Exactly. Dark One's blessing feels so good. Damn, she is dodging everything. Oh my god. Please die. Thank you. Hi. That was a foolish m move. Okay, you color sprayed the Githyanki. Congratulations. You took two hits for that. There we go. Now, let's see if this is actually a holy sword. It is called a sword of justice! It does offer tears protection! <laughs> hmm. The words deliverance, justice, and vengeance are engraved on the base of the sword. They echo in your mind. Hmm. Turns out. They may not have been bullshitting me.
Well. It's not to Asterion. Okay. Platinum coin. Platinum coin should be worth more than just a single gold piece, right? Okay. Well, let's go see the <laughs> what she says. That man just had a potato on him. He was like, what the fuck's happening? Uh, one platinum should be 10 gold, yeah. But it showed as being only worth one, which was kind of weird. Did you get the bastards? I did. For now, but thank you. Her mind touches yours. Gratitude, warmth, and relief. Then, a light, sharper than the truest blade, brighter than a star. It fills you with awe, forcing you to your knees. And from within, a winged figure steps forward, graceful and terrible. She places her hand on your cheek and smiles as she carves her name across your chest. Kua ad vos non petrica! Ah, uh, who was that in your memory? Zariel, fallen lady, defiled celestial, ruler of Avernus. I was her prisoner and her champion. She tried to break me. The paladins you killed were acting on her orders. She'll send more and worse. What? So she wasn't lying? But how does the paladin- I guess, was the paladin just being tricked by this fallen celestial then? I'm so confused, am I being lied to still? Or is she actually telling the truth? Like, I don't- Maybe I should just talk to the paladin first and confront them. No, no. No, I did the right thing. <laughs> Do you even care? Great question. Don't care. Good point. What will we do if she sends oh, more? I'm counting on it. I'll be ready for her. And the first step is to go home. To Baldur's Gate. I've got a score to settle. We should travel together, though. She's the company. But until I've shaken Zariel off my back, I'd only put a target on yours. My advice? Stay away from the city. When I catch up with the fuckers who did this to me, the streets will run red. Oh man, but I want you to be in my party. I don't even care if you lied to me. The bastards. Oh no. Okay, well we're just gonna leave that alone. Well, maybe in the later acts you will get to uh, have her in your party. And friends, I think that is where we are going to be ending the stream for today. So I want to thank you for coming and for enjoying this game with me. This, this has been a lot of fun. And I'll try to be back again in a couple hours, if not then tomorrow, for some more streaming. Thanks again for hanging out with me, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed it. Fairly well, friends.